Hello, 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 everyone. Oh my gosh. I, um, yeah, apparently we hit 11,000 subscribers right before. <laughs> Y'all in the chat being like, congratulations on 11,000 subscribers. I'm like, what? <laughs> so anyway, that's cool. Um, uh, Welcome, welcome everyone to, uh, you know, we're heading back to Red Winter today. Also, oh my God. Um, Thank y'all for the gifted memberships already. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, it's very kind of y'all. Um, I'm pretty excited. This feels really weird to be streaming at this time of day for Blue Archive. I always try to stream at times um, when it comes to like Blue Archive events and things because I know that I've got folks who are all over the world and I feel bad if like those of you who are in the UTC time zone can't hang out. But uh, oh, they have to level with y'all. I'm, I'm getting over a cold. And uh, it's been pretty brutal. Like, <laughs> I've been so exhausted in the mornings. Um, and yeah, sure enough, uh, I woke up today and I was still exhausted. So, um, you know, they had to do it uh, when it was the afternoon slash evening my time. So my apologies to those of you who were in Europe and Africa and the Middle East. I'm so sorry that it's so late for you, um, but we will uh, get back to the, the time that will work a little better for you folks, so. Yeah, I know. I, I think it's not acceptable that so many people are getting sick. This is ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous. <sighs> I'm sorry that some of y'all are sick too. That's no good. But thank you. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, I just like, I don't know. I've been like very low energy. <laughs> so like getting up in the morning for my day job, I've been like, no, <laughs> I can't do anything. So I was like, oh, I don't want to be like super low energy streaming. So yeah, anyway. It is indeed called after all. This is very true. <laughs> oh my word, but I hope y'all are doing well. I'm super excited for this event. Um, I've been wanting Momiji ever since they teased her um, in like some previous Red Winter events. Then this event, she's one of the main characters. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. And then we're going to pull for her afterwards. <laughs> It's gonna be fantastic. She's only a two star too, which, you know, it's even better, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's gonna be very fun. It's, it's gonna be good, y'all. Oh, my word. But yeah, um, anyway, uh, figure, let's, let's hop into this, y'all. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. Oh, man. Let's go. A day with the Knowledge Liberation Front. So for those of you who aren't uh, familiar with the Knowledge Liberation Front. They are an interesting group of students at Red Winter. They believe that um, knowledge should be shared with all, including uh, <laughs> a very spicy doujin that Meru likes to draw. So anyway, um, I'm very curious as to see uh, how they're doing, um, how stuff is going at Red Winter, and what, <laughs> what kind of shenanigans they're going to get up to. So... <laughs> Oh, but it's so good to see y'all. I'm glad that y'all are doing well. Um, let's let's hop into this. I, I'm excited. This is gonna be good, y'all. <laughs> A day with the knowledge liberation front. Bum bum bum. Oh my God! There she is. <gasps> Look at how adorable she is. I can't stand it. She's too cute. She's also got so much like fuzzy armor on. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? No! All this dust is killing my lungs. Uh, that's, um, why we're cleaning. But what's the point? Why do all this cleaning when nobody's even here to appreciate it, huh? President Cherry now is the only visitor, and she just comes here to nap. And if they're actually expecting visitors, then they should at least let us stock more books. I agree, but is keeping the library clean such a bad thing? We live here, so we benefit from it when whether anyone else does or not. Ugh, don't try to trick me with your well-reasoned arguments. <laughs> You know, sometimes people find unexpected treasures while they're cleaning. Why don't we treat this more like we're looking for useful artifacts? 
outdated books and old manga are not treasures. M Meru, all information is valuable to the Knowledge Liberation Front. Exactly. <laughs> Besmirching the name of manga? Meru, how could you? Whether it's new or not, people are always clamoring for the latest content. Yeah, but when the latest content is moldy old books and manga? Why are you so determined to be negative about this? I, I feel a storm brewing. This isn't looking good for the Knowledge Liberation Front. <laughs> Wait a second, M Meru. Come here. Uh, huh? What? Did you find something? Yes, I found Luna, volumes 4 to 21. Oh, I can't believe such treasures were right under our noses. Uh, what's Luna? M Meru, you don't know about Luna? And you call yourself a member of the Knowledge Liberation Front? Well, <laughs> you see, I'm disappointed in you. These stories are legendary. It's about two characters named Luna who experience life together. There's something for everyone. Love, life, punk themes, a band, movies, and everything. Oh my god, that sounds incredible. <laughs> That's a, that, that is a bit of something for everyone. The final volume, volume 22, took kind of a turn, but uh, you've really missed out on something amazing, Meru. What a shame. Do you mean that you pity me for missing out? <laughs> or do you find my ignorance shameful? Oh, I've never once thought you were shameful, Meru. You know that. Hmm, that's true. Anyway, I happen to own volumes one through three. Why don't you take this chance to get acquainted with Luna? Ugh, do I have to? Of course, we are the Knowledge Liberation Front. All information is equally valuable, and Luna is no exception. Ugh, you're just using the Knowledge Liberation Front as an excuse to make me read this, aren't you? It sounds really good, though. You should read it, Meru. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like the way Momiji's talking it up, it seems like it's gonna be fantastic. Well, what's the verdict, Meru? Ugh, all done. <laughs> oh, it's later than I thought. Does that mean you liked it? Tell me, what did you think? Um, uh, first, first, it wasn't bad, but, right? It's amazing! You don't think the storyline feels a little <laughs> contrived? Excuse me? It's just creating conflict for conflict's sake. <laughs> Or they use freak accidents to write off characters that get too complicated. W well, um, some critics did point that out back in the manga's heyday. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the characters aren't appealing. Take volume 16, for example. Luna's confrontation with the studio manager. I'll admit the characterization was good, especially considering the publication year. But the story itself is too convoluted. <laughs> it got so bad that it actually ruined some volumes, if you ask me. Like in the last part of volume 21, they left too many loose ends. You said volume 22 is the final volume, right? I'm not sure that's enough to tie all of those up. What do you think? Well, um, actually, volume 22 doesn't exist. W what? <laughs> Why not? That's a terrible way to end things. Expert. Huh? I, I didn't catch that. Who 
died and made you the expert, Meru. Uh, huh? <laughs> oh god. Oh no, the storm is happening. <laughs> I just wanted to know why there's no final volume to wrap up the story. And another thing. Uh, another thing? You're not a real author. Who are you to judge? <gasps> no, Miji, you can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> Dojin is still like, you still have to write and draw things? Oh no. Oh, everything is descending. Oh, it's all breaking apart so quickly. <laughs> you never think things through before you commit them to the page. You're no better than they are. You just think of a scene and then force every character and storyline to fit in. They're flawed just like you say this story is. So what makes you such an authority on the subject? M M Momiji, w what is going on with you? What what's wrong? I've just had it, okay? I need to get this off my chest. Oh, poor Momiji. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, and let's not forget that you ate my fried pancake either, because I certainly didn't. Oh no, Meru, that's a terrible crime. <laughs> you can't go eating her food and then insulting the manga that she likes. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh, I think Meru has dug herself into quite a hole. It was just sitting out all day. I just assumed it was up for grabs. You should have labeled it or something. I shouldn't have needed to. If it's not yours, don't touch it. It's common sense. It's true. You shouldn't steal other people's food. Oh, the fact that Meru wasn't even sorry for it makes it even worse too. Oh God. You never consider anyone else. You just do whatever you want. You're so inconsiderate, Meru. Uh, I, I don't have to stand here and take this. I have tons to say to you, too. You have no right to complain, Momiji. Take the book orders. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Well, um... We keep getting multiple copies of the same book. I bet you mistakenly placed a duplicate order. Huh, Momiji. I, I had no choice. I'm looking for a, a limited edition. It's really hard to get. The reason doesn't matter. No thanks to you, the Secretariat refused to approve any orders for two months. How are you going to fix that? This is bad. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is like, oh, this is a terrible argument to be having. So you say that like I'm the only one doing whatever I want. You're just as bad, Momiji. Those are two completely unrelated things. No, they aren't. Uh. Watching a friendship die in real time, this is terrible. <laughs> it does sound like Momiji was trying to do a book gotcha. <laughs> and just order everything until you get the limited edition. Uh, probably need to work on that. Probably shouldn't be ordering so many books. Fine. Whatever. Keep acting like you're better than everyone else and see what happens. See if I care. Oh god. You're not going to scare me with threats. Because I don't care about you either, Momiji. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fine. Just walk away when I'm talking to you. Huh. Good riddance. I'll be fine just on my own. Yeah. <sighs> I... I hope. <laughs> no! This is some dire circumstances. Right off the bat. This is no good. Okay. 
Okay, we gotta, we gotta help these girls. <laughs> this is no good. Um, okay. Uh, it's time to repair some friendships. Um. <laughs> Let's hope the power of Dojin can bring them back together, because, uh, <laughs> this is not looking good. Ugh. The work never ends, does it? <laughs> no matter how much I do, there's always more. Just great. Ooh. Oh, Meru. Ah, oh, hold on. I've, I've got this. Uh, sensei, <laughs> wow, you don't look so good. You're clearly busy today. <laughs> I I can call back another time. You know, while I appreciate you noticing that I am exhausted and getting over a cold, Meru, you shouldn't... <laughs> Is that really the way you're going to start this phone call? Meru, what's wrong? Is there some problem? Uh, th th no need to make a fuss. <laughs> Just because I'm self-conscious doesn't mean there's a, a problem. <laughs> I mean, really, what do you take me for? Am I that... that... Uh, uh, who am I kidding? You're right. There is something. It hadn't really occurred to me before, but I suppose I could, uh, <laughs> use, um, some advice. Uh, but you look busy, and I don't want to inconvenience you, Sensei. <laughs> you look like you're about to pass out. <laughs> Listen, I can take power naps. It's fine. <laughs> Just give me 20 minutes and I'll be good. I'll be right there. Just hang tight. <laughs> I'll, I'll get myself some more coffee. Um, maybe I'll get two coffees. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Paperwork. I can help them. Oh god, here's the thing though. Trying to help them repair their friendship seems like it's gonna be rough. But I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. You were so quick to act, Sensei. Um, what can I say? I'm procrastinating on all my paperwork. <laughs> uh, how can I help you, Meru? You know you'll end up having to pull an all-nighter to get it done. Oh, don't remind me. I'm not thinking about that right now. <laughs> but I suppose that's just human nature. We'll do anything to delay the inevitable as long as possible. I understand. You know the deadline is coming, but you still just want to have fun. <laughs> it sounds like I'm confessing something. Are you? You sounded very serious. Did I? Ah, I am a little stressed, but <laughs> was it that obvious? A bit. I can't help but notice that Momiji isn't with you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I called you Sensei. Oh, Meru, don't cry! Oh, God! It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Just tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. We can fix this. I'm sure we can fix this. Um, Momiji... Momiji left the library! Oh, that's, um, that's not good. It, it's okay, Meru. Calm down. It's okay. Do you want to tell me what happened? And we can start working to fix this, okay? Well, um, you, you see. Oh, Meru. Meru, Meru, Meru. <laughs> oh. Okay. Meru, I hate to say it, but I do think after hearing the explanation, I think you are in the wrong on this one. <laughs> you said some pretty hurtful things. What? Why are you taking her side? I mean, afterward, I, I did wonder if I went a little too far. But I'm a creator, too. I just stated my professional opinion. The story was lacking. It's nothing to get angry about. 
Oh, well, <laughs> I suppose someone else might think differently. <laughs> and, and I did reflect on it. It's not like I didn't. Do you two argue often? Not that often. Sure, we disagree from time to time. But Momiji and I just have different opinions on things. In a job like this, you can't not have strong opinions. It, it seemed like any other disagreement we've had. I, I figured we would make up eventually. But, but Momiji isn't answering her phone. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I've, I've never seen Momiji that angry, and, and she's never run out of the library like that. What, what should I do, Sensei? It's okay, Meru. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so bad for this whole situation. Okay, Meru. Take a breath. Get some water. It's okay. Sometimes it's cathartic to cry. It's all right. This is a very intense situation, but let's take a breath. And why don't you try being honest to her and apologizing? If, uh, if I thought that would work, I wouldn't have called you, Sensei. It's always been like this. Nothing I say gets through to her. Huh? You, you disagree? I do. <laughs> like seriously, Momi. Uh, ser no, Momi. <laughs> Seriously, Meru, you need to talk to Momiji. You need to give her a sincere apology. It'll be fine. And if that doesn't work, I'll step in and I'll help. This isn't some story in a novel. There's no way a sincere apology is enough. I mean, even if it were a novel, people would say it was too shallow. Simplistic, even. Well... Then what do you think you should do, Meru? Talking to her isn't enough. I I need a more um, methodical approach. Some kind of reconciliation formula. Hmm. Luna. Hmm. Oh, the flash of inspiration. <laughs> The final volume, volume 22, took kind of a turn, but I just wanted to know why there's no final volume to wrap up the story. Yeah, that was kind of odd of her to say. That's it. Sensei, I, I know what to do. Oh, does it include apologizing? <laughs> because I think you should still do that. But it's also okay to do a gesture. I, I understand this is a very like important thing you want to get across. So apology plus whatever you're going to do, right, Meru? <laughs> All right, Meru, I thought I'd check in and see how that idea of yours is working out. Great. Okay, it's like this. You know how Momiji and I fought over the Luna story? Well, after that, I did some research. It turns out that the reason nobody can get that final volume is because sales at the time were terrible, so they only printed a few copies of it. Oh! So it's a very difficult thing to get a hold of. I see. I see, I see. Now they're extremely rare, <laughs> so much so that it's known as the elusive Luna Volume 22. If I can get my hands on a copy of the final volume, Momiji will have to forgive me. It's the perfect plan. I'm sure it'll work. Okay, Meru. <laughs> you want us to go and somehow find a very difficult to find, um, Old volume of manga? Okay. Okay, I'm sure we can figure this out. I'm sure I have enough contacts in Kivotos to make this work. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> it might all be a little extreme, but all right. I guess I could go along with Mary's plan for now. You're awfully quiet, Sensei. I guess that means you have no objections. Ah. You always understand me. I'm so glad I asked for your help, Sensei. 
Now, I just have to figure out how to get my hands on such a rare book. At least we have a goal. If I take it one step at a time, I'm sure a solution will come to me. <laughs> Our quest to complete the Luna set starts now. All right, um, that sounds good. <laughs> We have a plan. Let's let's do this. A time to go and find the last Luna volume. Um, I'm very proud of you. I could cry tears of joy. Let's just make sure that we still apologize, okay? Um, that being said, is your first thought really to go outdoors? Are you prepared for this? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude. I just want to make sure that like we're we're all mentally prepared for this, all right? Not a shut-in. Uh, sure, I prefer the indoors, but still. I I know when it's time to go out and get some fresh air. Now, our first stop should be mm, here. Alright. So long as you have some idea of where we're going. <laughs> I feel like this plan is doomed, but let's let's give it a shot. <laughs> I haven't been here in ages. <gasps> mm, it smells just like I remember. What is this place? It's a whole street dedicated to used books. The Knowledge Liberation Front comes here all the time. You see, these aren't your typical bookstores. They specialize in rare and out of print books. Well. That seems pretty good. Don't you don't you think that Momiji would have checked this already though? <laughs> like, okay, think about what we know about Momiji. She's someone who is willing to order like entirely too many books in order to try and gotcha her way into a limited edition one, right? So like of course she would have checked here, right? I don't know. Maybe maybe she missed something. Maybe we'll be able to find something. <laughs> It doesn't matter how old a book is or what it's about. You can find it here. Just, um, be careful. This place is pretty cutthroat. They eat newbies like you for breakfast. Are you telling me they're gonna try and, like, overcharge? <laughs> Fair enough. I guess I don't know the value of a lot of these things. Okay. Um... I appreciate the warning. Thank you for that, Meru. That is a little terrifying, but hopefully we'll be okay. <laughs> I guess you never got the memo about the industry's dark side, huh, Sensei? <laughs> I can explain. The first thing you need to know is that everything here is marked up like crazy because sellers expect to negotiate. So they love it when naive buyers come around. Then there's the fact that not everything they're selling is uh, a <coughs> strictly legal um, or uh, safe. Uh, it would cause major problems if the um, authorities caught wind. And no regulation means the less reputable sellers try to pass off fakes to unsuspecting buyers. <laughs> you want to know why we come here anyway? Well, regardless of quality or legality or even safety, it's better for collectors to keep it than to let it end up in a landfill somewhere, right? <sighs> Meru, is this where you've been selling some of your dojin? <laughs> Dojin that features um, real people within Kivotos who did not give their consent. <laughs> well, now what can I say, I guess? All right, Meru, I guess you're the best person to have by my side as we go through this. I'm a little concerned, but... <laughs> okay. And last, if all you're doing is window shopping, no one will bother you. And with that, here we are. The shop that will have the final volume of Luna. But this place can get pretty rough. <laughs> it's the Wild West in there. Survival of the fittest. So, uh, um, you should probably hold my hand for safety. Meru, are you scared about going in there? <laughs> 
I am happy to hold your hand. That is totally fine. <laughs> we can pretend to like this is for my safety. <laughs> I'm not sure that I would call a bookshop the Wild West Meru Deer, but you can hold my hand. That is okay. <laughs> um, uh, um, anyway. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Let's see what they're selling in here. You got me a little concerned, Meru. Um, okay, Meru. Question number one. Why does this book have library on it? Is this a stolen book <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> no, uh, that probably came from a library and uh, they forgot to remove the tag. Now, let's start searching, okay? <laughs> Volume 22 of Luna, here we come. All right, I'm already a little sketched out, but... <laughs> Reselling library books, okay. Okay. Oh my god, Meru! Look at the time! We have been searching for three hours now? If you want to find a needle in a haystack, you have to do a lot of looking. That said, I think we've done all we can do on this side of the street. Let's go to the next place. Good god. Is this gonna be like a multi-day thing? Oh, I'm gonna have so many all-nighters after this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All of my paperwork. Okay. I bet you didn't notice this alley before, did you? If we go through here. It's a tight squeeze, uh, but the bookshop through here has some really old stuff. If that book is anywhere, it'll be there. That... Meru isn't... That what you said about the last place? I'm willing to help you out, but oh god. Listen, Meru, I... I'm afraid we've failed our mission, Captain Meru. How? My... my plan was perfect. I don't know about that, Meru. <laughs> I don't know that your plan was perfect at all. Maybe we should, um... You know, reevaluate our options. It kind of feels like we're back to square one. This is ridiculous. All that searching, and we still don't have a clue where to find it. The rumors said she was elusive, but this is beyond my expectations. Luna is quite the formidable opponent. Oh? That silhouette doesn't belong to anyone we have met so far. I thought I recognized your voice. How unfortunate that I ran into you here, Mary. That voice! Nani. <gasps> Finally! Finally she appears! I've seen I've seen some some pictures of her and she's just super adorable. <laughs> it's been quite some time. How are you? Bum bum bum. A new challenger approaches. A new face has has entered the fray. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Next episode. Pachi pachi. The final volume. Ugh, this jerk. Ugh, childish name-calling from a self-proclaimed author. Ugh, how predictable. Perhaps you should consult a thesaurus the next time you attempt to insult me, Merri. You might be more successful. I, I don't need one. Besides, any thesaurus you think is good would probably give me nightmares. <laughs> that was a classy joke for you, Meredy. Perhaps just this once, I'll deign to give you a compliment. You'll deign, will you? <laughs> you know those high credit words make you sound more snooty than sophisticated. So you can read between the lines. <laughs> Very good. I was worried you wouldn't understand. Uh. <laughs> oh my 
my god. Oh my god, she's so sassy. Oh god. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough for both of you. All of this sniping isn't healthy. And who might this be? Ah, that's right. This is your first time meeting Takane. Now why don't I introduce you? It's such a shame that you'd be the one to introduce us. However, I can't very well ask you to introduce yourself. Such impropriety is beneath me. <laughs> is it? In that case, I'd be perfectly happy to let you get down on your knees and tearfully beg us to forgive your arrogance. <laughs> oh no! You've gone too far. Oh no! <laughs> Just immediately guns out. <laughs> You can't just shoot at people every time you get mad. You know, this is why no one likes you. Well, that nobody wants to be friends with our sarcastic know-it-all. <laughs> Merity, honey, you're no different than I am. You, the fledgling author who finally joined a club event only to be ignored by everyone involved. You had to pretend you didn't care just to save face. Oh my god. <laughs> the deep Meru lore. Oh no! Oh no! I, I, I'm, I'm warning you! If you say one more word... Uh, ahem! Um, aren't you two forgetting something? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, oh my. Uh, right, um, uh, this is, uh... Yes, I, I would like to know who this is. Y you apparently have quite a history with each other. <laughs> my, oh my. I'm positively delighted to finally meet you, Sensei. <laughs> I've, um, heard so much about you. My name is Miyoshi Takane. I work in Red Winter's publishing department, writing reviews about new works for the Red Bear. The Red Bear? Do tell. <laughs> I want to know. Tell me. Tell me more about this. Um, the publishing department? I, I've not really been super familiar with that at Red Winter. Yes. It's an exclusive club for students at Red Winter who wish to dedicate themselves to the fields of writing and publication. Not to boast, but I'm proud to share that, as a reviewer, I have read and reviewed every book published out of Red Winter. Oh my god, that actually is quite a... <laughs> That's quite an accomplishment. Okay. And yet, you boast. Oh! <laughs> Next time you have a moment, you should stop by the publishing department. Don't you dare invite Sensei and ignore me. I have first dibs. Curious. I assumed you were so determined to remain a recluse that you would never crawl out of your den. <laughs> but here you are. You, I... <laughs> There's such a thing as site visits, you know. Isn't that something you usually ask your assistant to do for you? Uh, but I don't see her right now. Tell me, where is Momiji? Um, that, <laughs> that, um, uh, she had other engagements today. Since when are the two of you apart? You're together so often, I started to think you were joined at the hip. Um, <laughs> uh, what's wrong, Merri? You're uncharacteristically silent all of a sudden. Where are your signature brash retorts? If I'm being completely honest, I'm 
a touch concerned. You should be grateful that I care. On second thought, don't thank me. I'd rather not see you grovel. <laughs> oh my god, Takane. <laughs> Just roasting her. Just roasting her. <laughs> Just commit to one mood or the other. This flip-flopping is tiresome. Okay. So I think I might have a solution to both of our problems here. <laughs> Listen, everyone. Getting back on track. <laughs> Calming down here. The books that come out of Red Winter. Takane, you said that you've read them all. Is that true? Yes, but again, I don't mean to brag. And this is when it's like when you're not bragging. <laughs> okay, okay, moving, getting back on track. Um, Takane, does that mean that you're familiar with Luna? Uh, Luna? <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with the work. Why are you and Meredith so interested in it? Um, well, we're looking for the final volume. Do you happen to know anything about it? The, the infinite, the infamous final volume of Luna? So you are familiar with it. What can you tell us about it, Takane? Does it exist? <laughs> can we find it? Is it going to be really expensive? I see, and right when Momiji is nowhere to be found. Well, it pains me to be right, but I knew this would happen someday, Meruri. What? what? <laughs> you heard me. Look at how you conduct your personal affairs. Honestly, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. You have the audacity to criticize my personal life. You, who criticizes everything and everyone and talks in circles so no one can understand you. I'll, I'll have you know that criticism is an art form. I see perspectives others can't. I shine a light on otherwise unappreciated works. It's high time you understood that. <laughs> Critics like you would be nowhere without creators like me. <laughs> Nonsense. A good review makes a work of art shine. What would a good novel be without someone to read it? That's a bunch of red winter nonsense on par with President Cherino's propaganda. Nonsense or not, it's true. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, everyone, let's um take, take a deep breath, everyone. That's enough. Can we get back to the last volume of Luna? <laughs> uh, ah, <laughs> right. Huh. I uh, understand your situation, Sensei. Either way, I don't know why you're determined to help such an antisocial creature. <laughs> oh God. Now you're comparing me to a wild animal? Here's the bottom line, Sensei. The final volume of Luna, volume 22, has a very complicated history. It won't simply turn up just because you're dead set on finding it. Or what the heck does that mean? <laughs> you know what? You seem to know a lot about Luna. I bet you're looking for it too. And you're trying to throw us off the scent. Ha! Ah, that's it, isn't it? Stop asking a bunch of questions at once. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to hold a conversation? Ugh. Now, I'm about to give you important instructions, Meruri. Visit the publishing department. Huh? What? Why there? Because there is a clue to finding Luna Volume 22 there. If you want to find Volume 22, this is how you do it. Uh, wait, 
What? I'll be going now. I do hope I have another opportunity to see you, Yumi-sensei. Oh! <laughs> Without Meredy around. <laughs> That's the last straw. You... <laughs> I think I love this. <laughs> hey! Oh, wait! What? Wait! Well, she's gone. And just like that, she's gone. <laughs> she came in like a storm <laughs> and then she left so quickly oh my god so many <laughs> there's been so many just raw conflicts so quickly in this story <laughs> i'm glad that y'all enjoy the ojo sama laugh she just seemed like the perfect character for it right right like she's just perfect <laughs> I don't have many excuses to bust that out, so that works. <laughs> oh my god. All right, y'all, let's do it. <laughs> it's time to head to the publishing department. I'm a little, I'm a little bit, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Let's, let's find out. I'll leave it to Takane to talk nonsense. I'm still not convinced she was actually helping us. Yeah, I don't know. She had us go to the publishing department, though. Maybe that's good. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, Meru. She did at least give us a clue, right? Right? Yeah, that was unusual. Do you think Takane knows something about Luna that we don't? I don't know, <laughs> but we should definitely visit the publishing department. Ugh, I hate to admit it, but I think she gave us decent advice. The publishing department has information about every book ever published in Red Winter. They're sure to have something about Luna, too. All right, sounds good to me. Let's, um, let's go hit it up. <laughs> Ooh, this is the publishing department. <laughs> um, this is a, a much bigger operation than I expected. They're actually like, wow, they're printing quite a lot of stuff here. Yep, most of the books distributed by the Red Winter Academy are made here. That's amazing. <laughs> amazing is one word for it. They've been known to print some pretty unusual stuff. And I mean really unusual. And they also do favors for the Knowledge Liberation Front when we need to print our newsletter. <laughs> it's not exactly a fringe organization, but... Well, I'm surprised you have such a... I don't know, I guess, I guess it's like a... You dislike some of the people who work in it, but like you tolerate them so that you can get <laughs> your newsletters printed. <laughs> I can hear you even when you're quiet, you know. Oh. <gasps> Another new character! Let's go! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love this. Ugh. Here she is. Oh my gosh, someone else besides Takane? <laughs> yes, yes, the dreaded publishing department head is here. I don't know what brings you this way, but it's nice to finally meet you, Meru. Or should I call you Meruri? Meru is just fine, Yakumo. You're the head of... The publishing department, yes. We handle everything related to books. Printing, binding, packaging, management, sales, and business expansion. I'm Aramaki Yakumo. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I also manage the Red Bear. <laughs> um, what, what is the Red Bear? <laughs> uh, oh, that's right! How could I forget? Excuse me, it's Cherry Nose Propaganda. Oh my god, that's right! How could I forget? <laughs> How could I forget that it's her propaganda? 
Oh, so you're like... Hmm. I see. You're in league with the Secretariat. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I understand. This is the Red Bear. Hi. I think I've heard of it before. Isn't it Cherry Nose Propaganda? Yes, that's right. Just then, a sheet of paper fluttered past. Is this another flyer? It reads, I condemn abominable mustaches who throw away yogurt lids without licking them. <laughs> Are you allowed to print that? Don't you think that Cherino will figure out what that's about? <laughs> Cherino writing this, pretending that other people are mustaches? I I don't I don't pretend to understand the mind of Cherino. It is <laughs> Here's the thing. It's it's perfectly good yogurt on the lids. Licking it is good. I completely agree. That is a little sad if you throw it away without licking it. <laughs> uh, wow, you you print stuff like this? Yeah, that's kind of surprising. <laughs> uh, you print both Cherry No Propaganda and flyers denouncing her? Is it okay to print them at the same time? Don't you, don't you think that she's gonna, um, you know, get mad about that? <laughs> no, why wouldn't I? It doubles my sales. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Spoken like a true capitalist. Yakumo, no. <laughs> Yakumo, no. Not like this. <laughs> no. Take the red bear, for example. If we include both a feature praising President Cherino and a caricature of President Cherino, we hit readers on both sides of the aisle. Why choose one when you can make a profit off of both? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's uh, one way to look at it. I think I understand why Meru doesn't like you. <laughs> that's rather devious of you. Um, the logic is a little tough to follow, uh, personally. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> so, uh, what should I call you? You can call me Sensei. That's who you are. <laughs> Apologies. Um, I nearly lost my composure. I pride myself on being the laid-back head of publishing. Anyway, um, welcome to the publishing department, Sensei. I've heard so many amazing things about you that I started to wonder if you were even real. You know, we need a feature for the next issue of Red Bear. Why don't we run a special interview featuring Sensei's tour of the publishing department? Okay, here's the thing, Yakimo. I might have agreed to this before I knew that you play both sides of the aisle. So like, <laughs> I feel like you're gonna write two separate articles. One is gonna be like, Sensei makes a visit to Red Winter. Here is how Sensei was as, as they were wandering around the facilities. And then one of them is gonna be like, Sensei was spotted at Red Winter. Are they colluding with President Sherino? <laughs> Check out our next issue for more. I don't know. I'm a little concerned about this. Um, so unfortunately. <laughs> uh, it was my apologies, Yakumo, but um, I will have to say no to your offer. Oh, come on. You can trust us. You'll benefit from it too, you know. The Knowledge Liberation Front regularly misses deadlines, has an ambiguous fan base, and prints all kinds of strange material. The publishing department, however, has solid capital and strong backing from the Secretariat office. Isn't that whole Secretariat office thing supposed to be a secret? <laughs> Uh, oops, <laughs> I got caught up in the sales pitch. <laughs> D 
Just pretend you didn't hear that little tidbit. <laughs> now let's continue with the story. Okay, I'm gonna be totally real, Yakumo. It was pretty obvious that you were funded by the Secretariat. If you're printing propaganda, that... Come on. <laughs> Come on. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. <sighs> All right, Yakumo, listen. Let's, let's get back on track here. We're here because we need some information. Oh, a deal, is it? <laughs> I help you and you grant me a favor in return. I'm glad we have an understanding after all. Though you're quite naughty, Sensei. If you had a deal in mind, you should have said so and avoided all this confusion. Okay, Yakumo, I... Mm, whatever it is that you are thinking, I, I'm i not going to, like, pay you hush money or something. What? I'm not... No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give you access to Chalet files. Like, what What do you think we're doing here? What kind of a deal is this? Uh, clean out your ears, Yakumo. Sensei didn't say anything like that. Oh, <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> Never, no. Meru, calm down. I'm asking Sensei what they meant, not you. <sighs> okay, here's how it's gonna go, Yakumo. I have some powerful friends, so if you try to slander me, <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll. I'll get things involved. I, I. I'm sure that I know my rights in some capacity here um, through the Kibotos legal system. So if you answer our questions, I'll do your interview. And I swear, if you print anything libelous, if you try to slander me in any way. <laughs> We'll be having a very different conversation later. But yes, these this will be our agreement. Answer our questions. I'll do your interview. It's sensei, you'll be skinned alive for agreeing to that. Shh, Meru, it's fine. It's fine. Don't you worry. I. It's a risk I'm willing to take. We're going to roll with it. It's okay. Excuse me, but skinned alive? I meant that figuratively, not literally, of course. Yeah, I hope not literally. <laughs> that would not be good. Ah, fine. The publishing department doesn't work with leather anyway. That actually makes me feel worse, actually, Yakumo. I, 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 that was supposed to reassure me, but being like, oh, we wouldn't be able to use your skin even if we had it is... <laughs> nope, 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 nope. All righty then. Um. <laughs> she doesn't even realize what she said is um terrifying. Um. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, let's um let's get to the point, shall we? Uh, the point to being Luna, yes. Ah, yes, Luna. The name sounds familiar, or like, it feels like a black cat is staring at me, its bandana flapping in the breeze from the far recesses of my memory. That is a fascinating, um... <laughs> that is a fascinating comparison. It feels like a black cat, its bandana flapping in the breeze. <laughs> that sounds rather dangerous. Aha! I know why. The name reminded me of a similar story. Really? Okay. Something with black cats and bandanas? Yes, it was a comic published ages ago. I doubt it's still around. Anyway, that's why I couldn't remember this one. Ah, yes, it's coming back to me now. But why did you come to the publishing department? Takane said we should come here for a clue. <laughs> really? Takane? <sighs> <laughs> okay, that's a little ominous. Um, can you, can you give us a clue? 
All right, all right, a clue, certainly. Something Sensei and Meru would find interesting, right? Perhaps even fascinating. It, yes, yes, what is it? Well, I don't know much about the last volume of Luna. But don't worry, I've still got juicy info for you. Then quit beating around the bush and tell us. Luna boasts a very old, very dedicated fandom. It is alive in Red Winter even now. They still meet occasionally. They're pretty lively most of the time. That fandom still meets over their shared love of Luna? Oh no, I feel like this is, um, you know, maybe this is fine. I feel like we're going to go to this fandom <laughs> and Momiji is going to be there. <laughs> um, but you know, that will, that will just give Meru an excuse to apologize faster if that's the case. Well, fans that still gather even after the work is finished is, uh, that's pretty impressive. Is that normal in Red Winter, Meru? N no, it, it isn't. I, I mean, sure, once a work is complete, you might hear people talking about it from time to time. But if fans are talking about it and even rallying around it, well, not every work is good enough to earn that kind of dedication. Yes, the comic has quite a history. But, but as far as when and where the gathering takes place, you don't know, do you? Uh, actually, I do. Well, really? What? What? H how? I thought for sure you'd tell us you had no idea. Well, I am rather well informed. I have quite the network of sources after all. Man, Yakumo, you are one of the sketchiest people we have met. <laughs> that's really impressive! Like, holy cow! Holy cow, that's wild! Okay. After all, we are the publishing department, no matter what anyone thinks of us. But earlier, you said you couldn't remember that well. I said it was hard to remember quickly, not that I don't know at all. Anyway, about the time and place. What is it? What? What is it? <laughs> not so fast. First, we need to discuss payment. <sighs> I see, you want to be compensated. Is my interview not enough, or do you want me to do that now? Indeed. Yakumo, what are you going to ask Sensei to give you now? Not Sensei. Meru, I want something from you. Huh? huh? Me? Yes, nothing major. I may ask you to provide a manuscript in the future. A, a manuscript? No way! None of the ones you've commissioned have been any good at all. No. Oh, then I suppose you don't need the information about Luna after all. I'm disappointed. Ah! <laughs> Since it's for Momiji. Oh, yeah. I can do it for Momiji. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. Are you sure you're okay with the steel, Meru? She might commission you to make um, <laughs> political propaganda art or something like that. <laughs> Well, maybe it'll put you in the good graces of Cherry now, I guess. Oh, God. Yes, it's for Momiji. I can do this. Oh, such a beautiful display of camaraderie brings a, a tear to my eye. M Meru. Uh, wait, I, I have conditions. I won't do anything really weird. It has to fit my style. Uh, uh, something I believe in. 
<laughs> Don't worry about that. If the manuscript I want happens to align with Mary's preferences, then so much the better for both of us. Now, I uh, just need you to sign this contract, agreeing that your tablet and pen are forfeit if you don't fulfill your end of the deal. Oh my god. <laughs> it, but, uh, that's, that's so cruel. Yes, I suppose to a creator, an editor would seem cruel. Uh, now, please. Oh god. Oh god! Uh, Meru, you don't have to do this. We can figure this out some other way. Oh, God. She's signing it. Oh, God. Does that mean I don't have to do anything? Ah, uh, why don't we discuss that later? It'll be more fun that way. Uh, Yakumo, I've hardly known you for any amount of time. Please be kind. <laughs> Remember what I said to you before. I know some... Uh, I know some very good legal experts within Kivotos, members of the General Student Council. <sighs> I'm, I'm not looking forward to this interview. I think this is not gonna be good. <laughs> oh God, this is bad. This is no good. Oh god, the stakes on this have gone up so high. Oh my god, we're we're only three chapters in, and already, if Meru doesn't draw whatever questionable stuff there is, we're gonna be in a bad situation. And this is no good. This is no good. Okay. Alright, Meru. <sighs> oh, I actually get to play with her! Oh, let's go, let's go. Okay. I love how they've been doing this for events. I think it's really smart because then you can actually play with the characters. Obviously, a lot of characters are not going to be like, it's, it won't be a perfect representation of their abilities, but it's fun. It's good. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty. Oh no, because it's just her! so slowly oh no i wish they had i wish they had increased the ex skill regeneration <laughs> oh that's so funny oh my god they're all gonna be dead they're all gonna be Come on, come on. I believe, I believe. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> God, her EX skill animation is so good. Oh, you know, this BGM is fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> You know, they probably need the cost recovery to go up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I expected bears and rabbits, but attack drones? Where did they come from? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> over the river and through the woods and over the snow we go. Let's go, Meru! <laughs> I envy your composure, Sensei. You're singing to take your mind off your frozen fingers? You should have said something. <laughs> Here's a hand warmer. Oh, Meru, bless you! Can I keep it? I'm really cold all the time. <laughs> Even when I'm not at Red Winter, can I keep the hand warmer? That's very nice. <laughs> oh god no need to thank me cold weather gear is essential to survival here in red winter Ugh, i'm glad we didn't have to go too deep into the mountains why are they meeting in such a remote place the knowledge liberation front's devotion and passion would be better spent oh oh I got 
the new edition. Isn't that just a reprint of an old edition? Uh, objectively speaking, yes, but it's new to us. You know, since it's the first time we're seeing it. <laughs> well, don't worry about old or new. The influx of new knowledge enriches the heart either way. Oh, Meru. Ah, we gotta repair this. <laughs> we gotta repair this relationship. <sighs> Never mind. Forget it. It's okay, Meru. We're gonna go get her back, I promise. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Oh my god. Are we... are we here? I think so. Man, this is a whole convention. Let's go. There really is a meeting all the way out here. Yeah, look at Pedoro-sama. Right over here. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. And look how many books there are. The displays are packed. Everyone here is either reading, buying, or selling. Yeah, it reminds me of something I've seen before. Ah! Uh, Meru, look! Is this...? It, yes? W what did you find? Wait, wait! Is this what I think it is? Ooh, did we... Did we find it? <gasps> the... The final volume of Luna? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Meru. It has sample written on it. Ah, of course. The full book is probably hidden away somewhere. Oh, customers! <gasps> Thank you for coming. Please take a look around. The seller is thanking us for coming? <laughs> I could get used to this. Let's take a look at this, Sensei. It might just be the final volume of Luna that we've been looking for. Oh. Are they gonna try and sell it to us for too much? Oh, it's been a while since I read a really good book. The two Lunas came together. With their strengths combined, they faced their final enemy. Oh, that's really awesome! Uh, no, 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 wait! Something about this isn't right! Luna is supposed to be romance. According to Momiji, there's love, life, punk themes, a band, movies, and stuff like that. Why are they suddenly in a big battle scene? Oh no, that's, that's true, it probably is just fan fiction! <laughs> Just a dojin! Oh no! Does it matter? It's a good story. <sighs> yes, the layout and story are certainly impressive. Uh, still, the style doesn't match the themes of Luna. None of it makes sense or fits with the rest of the story. Wait, wait a second. There's another Luna here. This one is titled Luna's Finale? Oh. oh. <laughs> there, there's another one? But that would mean... Here, <laughs> this one is a sample too. Let's read it. Well... In the end, the two Lunas went their separate ways in this one. No, 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 this isn't right. At least this one was about love, life, punk themes, a band, movies, and everything it's supposed to be. But Luna story plots are always about accepting each other's flaws and reconciling. Meru, you seem to have, um developed quite a... <laughs> quite strong opinions about Luna. It almost sounds like there were some things that you, um, might have liked about it, despite some of its flaws. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> they just completely threw that out the window and wrote a farewell. 
Yeah, it was such a sad story. Yes, the writing was good. It pulled at all the right heartstrings. It was outstanding. But there's no way that's how the final volume of Luna is supposed to go. Yeah. Um, but maybe third time's the charm? Um, <laughs> look, here's another Luna. This one is titled Lunaless. <laughs> is every final volume of Luna displayed here different? I hope not, but based on what I'm seeing, that's the only conclusion I can make. Oh god. Well... Hey, Sensei! Oh, wait! Don't look at the sample by yourself. Let's read it together. Alright. Well... Reading through the third one... No one ever found out what happened to the two Lunas in this one, but... We carry on starting a new life inspired by their sacrifice? That's the ending? <laughs> no! I refuse to accept this. It must have a definitive ending. This came completely out of left field. It doesn't fit the rest of the story at all. It's just an epilogue of an epilogue of an epilogue. But wasn't the art really good? Yes, and the art was amazing. A few panels even came across as an homage to the classical art. But that's not the point! Pretty panels don't make it a manga. It's about the story! An appropriate ending! It's like they ignored the parts we're most curious about and drew whatever ending they wanted. Look, Meru! There's more copies of Luna over there, too! We've stumbled into a Luna Dojin convention! <laughs> Don't bother, Sensei. It'll be just like the rest. I know what this place is. What all of these Luna volumes are. Yeah. Uh, me too. Found something that you like? You know, we're running a special. A free illustration with any book. In fact, why don't you take a look at the latest edition? It was just released. Sales of G Luna are limited to one book per person. Please wait your turn. <sighs> We're at an official Luna convention. This is all fanfic. Um, Meru, that's a bit of a contradiction. An official Luna convention. You, this seems like it would be a, a Dojin convention, right? Like Komiket? Pororoket? <laughs> okay, so... Alright, Meru is explaining this. Explaining how this can be. Explaining the concept of all of this. <laughs> I see. So Luna fans organized a massive meetup. All of these Luna endings. It's just what they think might have happened. Exactly. Everything here is fan fiction. Their idea of what the final volume could have or should have been. Whatever they can dream up, be it fantastical, counter to the original plot, an epilogue of an epilogue as fan fiction. Here at the convention, anything goes. So, fans are recreating their own version of the final volume of Luna. That's Charming, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I really like that culture of fan fiction dojin and just like expanding upon a story that you like. I think that's very fun. Yeah, that's why every single one of them is different, and the interpretations stray so far from the original. Uh, some of them are purely the product of the author's own desire. Isn't desire what inspires amazing creations? Ugh. Why are you trying so hard to justify this, Sensei? Yes, I suppose that makes sense. Whether clumsy or eloquent, each volume proves one thing above all else. The fans here have a true and undying love for Luna. But 
Why do they have this event? Why would everyone create their own final volume of Luna? Hmm. <gasps> so, you found your way here after all, Meruri. <laughs> huh? Well, well, well. We meet again. <laughs> Well, well, well. Well, 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 if it isn't Takane again. <laughs> our, our resident Ojo-sama has returned once again. All right. Well, everyone has secrets. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it does make it seem like the 22nd chapter doesn't exist and all the fans are creating their own versions of things. Or maybe it just is so hard to get a hold of that they're all like, we're going to make our own ending. <laughs> it's charming. It's nice to have some, I don't know, some closure for a story. So, you found your way here after all, Meruri. Huh? What are you doing here? Ah, hello, Takane. Hello, Sensei. I hope you've been well. I only half expected to run into you two. I'm a little surprised to see you here, but I'm glad to. You're glad? Did you actually mean for me to hear that? <laughs> what do you think? You mean to tell me that you sent us to the publishing department hoping we'd end up here? Hmm, your desperate quest to find the vol the final volume of Luna for Momiji was always hopeless. Volume 22 of Luna never existed. Oh, snap! So that is what it is. It never existed at all. Dang. <laughs> Okay, um, so then when she's talking about how the ending of the series ended up being weird, it's because all of the fans are writing the ending. Oh, <laughs> there's so many different ways for the series to end. Uh, but I've seen listings for it on the internet. There aren't many, but they're there. Anything you find on the internet will be more of these stories here. Luna is a masterpiece. It dominated an era and was an incredible hit, but it had some bad luck. The saddest thing about Luna is that the final volume was never released. Why is that? As I said, Luna made a splash, but over time, the market lost interest. Really, it didn't get a fair review at the time. <gasps> no! No, it was cancelled! <gasps> no, they pulled it before it was finished! Oh, and the author didn't get to even, like... Oh, no, it must have been pulled so quickly the author couldn't even... Oh, that's so sad! No, that's terrible! Oh! Oh, my manga reader heart hurts! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's so painful. That's terrible. That's terrible for the author and the fans. Oh, that's so sad. There was never actually anything wrong with the story, but it broached topics that the audience wasn't ready for, so it got um, mixed reviews. But that's a tale as old as time, isn't it? True masterpieces aren't recognized until well after their time. I can't imagine Luna is the only work to suffer that fate. Huh. It's so true. It's so sad. As a critic, I know that better than anyone else. It's why I try so hard to read and critique as much as I possibly can. So, you knew all along that I would never find the final volume. Then why would you use such a roundabout way of telling me? I... I wanted to test you, Meruri. You have so much pride, and you don't work to build any relationships. 
since you were searching for the final volume of Luna. I thought doing this, getting you here, would force you to go outside of your comfort zone. Oh! <laughs> oh. In other words, you knew how desperate I was and thought I'd submit to anything. Is that about right? Yes, and I was right. You came all the way here and... I'm so sorry. You got dragged into this, Sensei. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Takane, you wanted to help them make amends, didn't you? It was easier for us to see this and to figure this out, ultimately. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to see you find your own way, Meruri. That's all. That doesn't sound like you at all. Don't believe her, Sensei. I'm sure this is some kind of trick. Uh, that's completely uncalled for. You should talk. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, that's enough. We were we were having a, a an actual heartfelt moment there. Calm down, everyone. <laughs> yes, Sensei. Ugh. Ugh, I know you're just trying to look out for me. Huh. What are you doing here anyway, Takane? Are you a fan of Luna as well? <laughs> uh, well... Ah, there you are, President. Everyone is looking for you. Let's go! <laughs> well, well, well. The truth comes out. Well, Takane. No wonder you knew about, um, so much about Luna, and you had such an interesting reaction when we first brought it up. I see the president. <laughs> oh! Per president? President? <laughs> Wait a second. You knew what this was, and and where it is, and someone just called you president. <sighs> I guess the cat's out of the bag. Yes, I'm the president of the Luna Club. Takane, <laughs> I'm impressed. You organized this fan fiction event? Wait, wait, wait. This is too much information too fast. You organized this event because you want the final volume too, didn't you? And what if I did? You just gave a whole speech about how critics help bring light to a, a variety of works that would otherwise go unnoticed. But you're just collecting and reading works about your favorite story. <laughs> Talk about a hypocrite. You know, to be fair, Meru, I actually don't know that that makes her a hypocrite. It's totally fine to enjoy reading and reviewing things while also having things that are your favorites. I can see why she'd want to hide it, though, because she doesn't want to seem too biased. <laughs> and the guns are out immediately. Guns are immediately out. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! What are you doing? If anyone finds out about this, it will ruin my reputation as an impartial critic. What's worse is that you, Meruri, are teasing me for just liking something. I've decided it would be better if you were... Uh, silenced. <laughs> Ooh, what? You're the one who sent me here in the first place. Well, um... Things change. <laughs> really? Do you hear how crazy you sound right now? Ugh, I suppose you're right. But it's not just me, you know. There will always be people who want to see how it ends. Some worry about the original author, who just disappeared one day. Some say it was irresponsible of them not to finish it. 
But every single person who loves Luna wants more of it. They don't want it to die with the original author, so they started creating their own stories. And so, well, here we are. Are you saying that each person is creating a brand new ending in their own style? It's their own interpretation, yes. There are as many interpretations of the work as there are fans. No one will ever know which is correct, so every interpretation is valued and respected equally. Now, of course, everyone wants their vision to stand out and be recognized. It's in the nature of every creator. Regardless, it's all fanfiction in the end, isn't it? My point is, you were never going to find the final volume of Luna or use it to reconcile with Momiji. But there is something you can do. Ugh. Gift her one of the Luna fanfics here, the one with the best review. If there's anything that will show Momiji how much you care, it's that. So that's why you brought me here. <sighs> You're right. You're absolutely right. If I can't find the final volume, I can at least get her the next best thing. Oh, even you can see reason sometimes. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. The thing is... Sometimes, when something feels so right that you have no choice but to do it, it makes you want to dig your heels in. What? What? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to create something too. <laughs> oh my god! That's actually perfect. Meru, that's actually fantastic. If everyone is creating their own endings, and we've reviewed a bunch of different doujin while we've been here, and we've had things that we've liked from some, and things that we've disliked, we could just, like, compile all of the best things into one creation. Meru can draw already. We've read some, like, different works. We can draw inspiration and, and put everything together with how we feel like the story could end. Let's go! That's actually a fantastic idea! Dang! All right! <laughs> what? I'm going to write the final volume of Luna. Well, well, well. All right! Um, <laughs> that's pretty impressive! <laughs> uh, huh? <laughs> All right, Meru, I'm actually super on board with this. This is going to take a lot of work though. Do you really want to leave Momiji hanging for that long? I don't know. Maybe we can pull out all the stops and actually get this completed pretty quick. All right, okay, I'm on board. This is a great idea. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's write the final volume. <laughs> You know, Meru, th this is a fantastic idea, but how much time will it take to write? We can't just write a book in the blink of an eye. You might have Momiji be waiting for a long time if you do that. A sensei is right. It takes planning. How do you plan to write the whole ending on a whim? I mean, it wasn't that long ago. You didn't even know Luna existed. Ugh, don't remind me. I have to remind you, this is a problem. Ugh. On the other hand, if you write up Luna fanfic, uh, that look on your face is giving me the willies. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. You don't like what? What do you mean? You're barely a fan of Luna, and suddenly you're inspired to write a fanfic. You don't deserve to. I'm the real Luna fan. I liked it first. 
Okay, Takane, it, no one is objecting to that. That's okay, it's okay, but you can't gatekeep like this. Just because someone is new to the hobby doesn't mean you can gatekeep them. I understand you're possessive, that, that, <laughs> that Meru had harsh things to say, but like, no, you can't, you can't be like that. You should be excited that more people are seeing the beauty of your hobby. I don't know. That's always a lovely thing. Like, instead of being like, well, I was doing this before it was cool, being like, yay, more people are into this thing that I love. That's fantastic. Maybe we'll be able to bring even more ideas and even more fun things to do together. I don't know. That's my perspective. <laughs> now, what does that matter? I can understand where she's coming from, but at the same time, <laughs> Takana, you can't gatekeep like that. That being said, Meru, you haven't known this work for too long. It might not be a bad idea to do a little bit of research, and I'm kind of worried about how much time we have for that. You too, Sensei. Ah! It's just because you have a grudge against me, Takane. As if, as both a critic and a true fan of Luna, I'm the most qualified person to deliver an opinion on the subject. <laughs> well, fine. You make a fair point. And as a reader myself, it's not like I don't sympathize. But I really want to draw and create. Huh. Well, go on. I'll admit I was wrong for not considering Momiji's opinion before I started criticizing the work. It hurt her feelings, made her angry, and started this whole mess. Everything was my fault. Is that accountability I hear? <laughs> you never compromise. Meru, oh, you've come so far. So tell me, what brought about this moment of personal growth? The fans and their writing. There's a massive official convention happening outside of Red Winter. And fans happily created and brought stories to share. Oh, I'll study whatever I have to. I want to draw. It feels right. I'm sure that's what I need to do. Ugh, oh, like I always say, desire inspires creation. I think you might be right. Yes. But, of course, as a longtime fan of Luna, you would never approve. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you four days to do it, Meruri. You're giving me a time limit? But it's so short. Yeah, four days? <laughs> Writing the final volume in four days? What? If you want the opportunity, you'll have to make it work. You did want to do this, didn't you? Why the sudden change of heart? And what's with the four-day time limit? It's because this year's official Luna Volume 22 convention is in four days. Wait, what is this then? <laughs> Are you telling me this isn't even the official thing? What is this event? How is it different from this? Yes, this one is just the precursor to the main event. Everything you saw here today is fanfic that was submitted for previous Volume 22 cons. The point of this year's event is to find the next great Volume 22 of Luna. And that's happening in four days. If you want to draw Luna Volume 22 and you want to do it right, then you should enter the event. You said I have four days? If you want to participate in our official con and submit your interpretation of Luna Volume 22, then yes. <laughs> oh, and since she's a fan, you should tell Momiji about it. Considering you're both fans of Luna, you should be proud to show off your work. 
The only thing I worry about is all the shouting and cursing you do when you're coming up on a deadline. If you think that's a lot of cursing. Just know, if you participate in the official con and submit your volume 22, whether it's garbage or a masterpiece, as the best Red Winter critic and the president of the Luna Club, I will be the one to personally evaluate it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's actually some really big stakes. Oh no, oh no. Well, it's the thought that counts, right? Oh no, it's, it, I feel like we should try to, to, to go all in on this, right? Oh God, okay, she's gonna be the final judge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we got our work cut out for us, Meru. Um... Let's, let's run back. I'll get you some, uh, we're gonna make sure you get plenty of rest while writing this. <sighs> uh, sensei, why are you looking at me like that? I thought for sure that you would laugh after saying that, you know, like a good belly laugh after a joke. I don't understand. Well, I can say you're so full of yourself. You're not a judge. I don't need your approval. And a few days ago, that's exactly what I would have shouted at you. But I don't want to. You're the reason I'm even here, after all. Oh, what was that? I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Could you say it much louder? I do like how Sensei was like, where's the Ojo-sama laugh? <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh my god. Oh. It, no, if you didn't hear it the first time, that's your fault. Anyway, maybe a challenging deadline is just what I need. I'll play along with your plans this time. That way, I can create something that Momiji and I can enjoy. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. As a courtesy, I'm expressing my full support. Do your best. Oh! Oh. <laughs> God, Takane is fantastic. I love this. <laughs> uh, we're back. Well, um, Meru, I feel like we've managed to dig ourselves an even bigger hole by doing this. Uh, I feel like we've been tromping through snow for an entire day. And that's because we did, silly. With an armful of books at that. They're such thin books, but how can they be so heavy? <laughs> oh God. We did buy a lot of them. It's good to have reference material, but good God. <laughs> <laughs> Never underestimate fan fiction. Each book is thin and light. But when you have a bunch together, they can be quite the challenge. It happens to me all the time. I buy a bunch of books I can't live without, but the stack really weighs you down. They also have the unfortunate side effect of <laughs> lightening your wallet. Oh, Meru, I know that only too well. <laughs> it's very fun to buy them and you want to support the original author. Oh my god. Good god, the, the motorcycles. They're back. Okay, I think they're gone. Okay, I think we're okay. God damn. <laughs> Every time they always know when I'm streaming. They, they, there were no motorcycles at all today. There were none of them. <sighs> okay, well... Anyway, sorry, Meru, please go on. You hold the entire stack until you feel like your arms are going to give out and people stare at you like you have two heads. And then you just have to stare at the ground and hope they go away eventually. Now that never happened to me, mind you. That description was awfully specific. <laughs> uh, time to start my research. No more distractions. Already? Oh God, you're gonna have quite a night ahead of you, Meru. You have to finish this in four days. 
what do you mean already? We only have four days. Time is flying, and every moment is precious. But there's one thing I wanted to say. I know I'm being stubborn, Sensei, and that I've made things hard for myself, but I chose to do this, and I'm determined to do it right. But that doesn't mean you have to indulge me. Ugh. What are you talking about, Meru? Of course I will. You asked me for help right from the start. I'm not going to abandon you now. Just tell me whatever you need. I can get you plenty of caffeine. I can make sure that you're getting time to rest. Um, I know that you're doing everything digitally, so you probably don't need my help with inking anything, but like, if you need me to review anything, just let me know. I can tell you like, if the rough drafts look okay and all of that, whatever you need. I'm here. Yeah, You were just waiting to say that cliche line, weren't you? <laughs> but somehow I knew you'd stick with me. You're very kind, Sensei. I think that's why I trust you so much. Oh, Meru, you flatter me! That's so nice of you to say! Ahem. Well then, I bought a bunch of fanfic for inspiration, so it's time to analyze. I should be able to write up a rough draft by the end of the day. You're gonna be able to do it within a day? That's crazy! Rough drafts take a lot of time! Alright, let's do this. And with that, Meru's four-day drawing challenge officially began. Four days to go. There's no end to these fanfics. The weight of history is surely great. <laughs> um, a lot of people have written endings to Luna. <sighs> yeah, change of plans. This won't work. It would take me four days just to read all of this. I'll just have to start working and use these as reference when I'm stuck. Sensei, you just keep up the good work. Okay, you too. You too, Meru. Let me know if you need anything, okay? <sighs> Three days to go. Oh god. Oh no! Oh god. Well... Oh no, she looks so exhausted already. Meru, you have to get some sleep. N no, I, I can't. Every minute is precious right now. Huh? Sensei, where are you taking me? Oh, you want me to sit down here? Uh, yeah, seriously, Meru? You're not going to accomplish anything if you don't get some rest. You have to sleep. Meru dozed off the moment that she sat down. Oh, God. I couldn't leave her like that. She'd have slept till noon the next day and felt terrible. Oh. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Meru. I, I need you to wake up. You need to brush your teeth and wash your face first. It'll make you feel a little better. You'll feel a little energized. So water will help you, like, <laughs> physically uh, snap up and wake up a little bit. Huh. But you just told me to sit down. I'm, I'm so tired. Why do you want me to get up? You'll feel awful if you sleep in this chair all night. I let you rest for a little bit, but... I'm sorry. I have to get you up again. Come on. No. I want to sleep right now. Please. Okay. Okay, Meru. Come on now. It's not hard. You're a good, responsible girl, right? Go clean up. I'll get you... Uh, how's this? When all of this is done, and you and Momiji have made up, and everything is okay... Um, I'll, I'll take you both out, uh, and it'll be on me, okay? Um, just hang in there, okay? <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God. I'm not that good of a girl. Uh... Oh, no! She's falling asleep again! <laughs> no! Oh, 
god. Okay. Two days to go. <laughs> oh no! Sensei, how, how long was I asleep? Just under three hours, maybe? And how many hours have I been working? Um, at least 13. <laughs> this is hell! bad. Ah, uh, welcome, Takane. What brings you here? Meru still has time, right? Ahem, I'm just here for an, uh, inspection. I am by no means here because I was worried about Meruri. And what do I find when I visit the Knowledge Liberation Front Library? Sensei and Meruri lying half dead on the floor. When I ask what happened, all you can do is show me this book. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. Correct, Takane. You... You only had the energy for a thumbs up, Sensei? Oh my god, look how cute this is. This is... Oh, oh I love this. I love it so much. God. That's so good. <laughs> it's such a cute cover. Oh my god. Meruri, say something. <laughs> no! She's asleep. She's asleep. <sighs> well, um, she's a goner. Out cold. Well, since I'm here, I'll give it a look. This is her life's calling, huh? Wait, are you saying that she finished it? She actually finished it in time? Like, with more than enough time? Dear God, Meru. Dear God. Okay. Okay. As a critic, I must remain objective. But I can also factor in my personal opinion as the president of the Luna Fan Club. Please be kind to her. <laughs> well then. Hmm. Ah, uh, so the two Lunas go. Huh? N no way! That's how it ends? It fulfilled the foreshadowing in the canon, but with a twist? Moreover... Oh, 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 interesting. But if she says that... No! Come back, Luna. She didn't mean that. She knew all along. That's why she made that choice. But doing that means they'll only hurt each other. No! Really? Mary? If that's how it ends, I'll never forgive you! Never! Even if the gods themselves do, I won't! <laughs> What's going on, Takane? Why are you here? Routine inspection. That's all you need to know. Inspection? I don't understand. Uh, uh, I'm still so sleepy. Maybe another nap. You can sleep after you've finished the next chapter. Hurry! <laughs> okay, so she hadn't finished it yet. And Takane is so invested already. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. 
Man, that really said something about how even though Meru is new to this, she was able to like really, I don't know, get a vibe for the characters and how things could go with the plot structure. That's really great. <laughs> Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> ah yes. Refilling some coffee. Making sure we're ready to go. Jeez. I can't deal with this until I've had at least three cups of coffee. You're making me fetch you coffee? I, I won't forgive this. What did you expect? Sensei's half dead, and I desperately need sleep. You're the only one who can make a coffee run right now. Ugh, wow. I can't believe you had the guts to say that to my face. You bet I did. Anyway, how was it? How, um, how, how was, uh, what? <laughs> Part one of Luna volume 22, of course. <laughs> you said you'd review it from the perspective of a fan. So? <laughs> you're, you're disqualified. What? Why? Because it's not even done yet. What is there for me to review? Luna, volume 22 was never published because it's incomplete, right? You're sentencing me to the same fate. Ugh. Did you really think this half-baked attempt would help Momiji forgive you? How can you be so careless? Uh, 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 no! No, Meru! Uh, a thousand words couldn't describe how ashamed and disappointed I am right now. If if it weren't for Momiji, I, I wouldn't even have this opportunity. Sensei tried so hard to help me, but without Momiji, I, I'd, I'd be nothing. I... I can't finish this without Momiji, but but I need to finish this to make up with her. What what should I do? <sighs> Takane, I I understand that you don't want to admit that you enjoyed this, but like you you cannot be so harsh to her. She has been trying so hard. You genuinely enjoyed that. There's a difference between like giving someone tough love insofar as like this is great, but you've gotta push through this. You've gotta keep going and being like, this is terrible. You, <laughs> like, come on now. God, I just wanna hug Meru. This is so sad. Sometimes being honest with ourselves is exactly what we need to be free. Are, are you telling me to admit I can't do it and give up? I'm telling you to be realistic. You can't submit an unfinished work. And if this is the best that you can do, then... <sighs> I'm a little disappointed in you. D the day D-Day isn't here yet. It's two days away, and today is nearly over. When you factor in the time to print, you really only have one day left. Do you really think you can finish the last half in a single day, Merrily? You never know unless you try. Without Momiji. Oh my god, Takane, stop rubbing the salt into her wound. Takane, we need to have a talk after this, I swear. <laughs> We're gonna sit down and I'm gonna... You're going to get a lecture, all right? <laughs> I, while I appreciate you trying to be realistic with her, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. You can't review anything until it's finished, right? So, you're going to try for it anyway, huh? Good. I'll be waiting. I look forward to reading your finished product. Keep it... Keep it up. I swear to Kame. <laughs> I swear! That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. Think about how little sleep and how stressed Meru already is. Like, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. That What a terrible thing to say to her. All right. We're going to be having a discussion with Takane after this. <laughs> you know, that's actually true. She really is an editor. That's the thing. Editors do have to be really cutthroat like that. <sighs> I guess that's fair. I still think... I still think she could have done a better job, though. <laughs> I think she could have done a better job with that. Oh, God. That's just sad. It's good to be realistic, to light a fire under Meru to make sure she actually gets this done. But uh, there's ways to do this that aren't quite so harsh. Oh, God. All right, y'all. We got two days left. Two days. Did she leave? Yep. All is well. Are you doing okay, Meru? I see. Fine. Oh god! Meru! Meru, are you okay? Oh god! Oh god, she collapsed! I... I'm fine. I'm just a little punch drunk from the exhaustion and hyped up on adrenaline after that nerve-wracking conversation. Writing manga must look like a tough job to you, huh? <laughs> I'm glad you understand what I'm going through, Sensei. Yeah, um, God, I hate that you're having to do this, Meru. Now, just let me sleep for a little bit. And don't wake me up unless Kivotos is crumbling around us. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Meru promptly collapsed back into sleep. <sighs> I gently carried Meru over to the bed and laid her down. Then I flopped down into the library chair she had been occupying. Good god, this poor girl. I do love how low-key they spend so much time in the library that there's a bed there. <laughs> Huh? But someone is calling me. Uh, hello? Who's calling? M Momiji? Uh, hello? Momiji? H hello, Sensei. Um, h how have you been? Oh, um, I'm doing fine. <sighs> Well, actually, I've been better. I I can use your advice. What's the issue? It's about Meru. You and Meru had a disagreement, it sounds like. Yeah! How did you know? Wait! Why are you at the Knowledge Liberation Front Library? What happened? Oh. <laughs> Momichi! Oh god! I... I see. Meru said all that? Hey, Sensei. I... I want to make up with Meru too. Sure, she's self-absorbed, loud, both brash and timid at the most inconvenient times, but she's not a bad person where it counts. I, I think I overreacted about Luna. She's allowed to have her own opinions. <sighs> Meru's a writer, after all. Our perspectives on this one just clashed, is all. I let my emotions get the better of me, and I said some things to Meru that I really regret. And since Meru isn't very good at apologizing, I thought maybe I should go first. <sighs> uh, about that, Momiji. So I know I told you that I'm spending some time with Meru right now and that she feels bad, but I haven't actually told you what she's doing. Meru is writing Luna, volume 22. Uh, huh? Wh what? W what are you talking about? I, I haven't even been gone a week and suddenly the 
Knowledge Liberation Front is making manga? <laughs> I filled Momiji in on the details. It is interesting that we're spilling the beans, but I guess to be fair, it is it is better than <laughs> To be fair, this entire time, I've just been wanting the two of them to be honest with each other. And besides, we were supposed to tell Momiji at some point that Meru was doing this, right? Like, so that she would be able to come and actually check it out at the convention. Okay, so this is going to happen one way or another, but still. <laughs> huh. uh, um. Hey, M M Momiji? Are you okay? I don't know what to say. I know the feeling. <laughs> I can't believe she's doing this in four days. Meru's a whole new person. Y you've been helping her. Her fanfic is halfway done, and she has two days left. I, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Creating that fanfic for you, Momiji. So, I, I know. <laughs> I, I can't describe how strange I feel about it all. I, I don't care how everything else turns out. I definitely want to see Meru's Luna. Do you really mean that? <laughs> Excuse me! There's someone else on this line! <laughs> this is so precious! I love this! <laughs> Meru? I woke up from my nap just as Sensei rushed outside. I was curious. So... <laughs> Did you hear our whole conversation? Not all of it, just the important bit. <sighs> um, okay, you two. It's okay, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's okay. S -s Sensei, can't you do more than groan along with the rest of us? Say, say something helpful. Yeah, Sensei, you're the teacher. Lay some wisdom on us. Um, well, uh, true wisdom is knowing that you know nothing. This is not the time for useless platitudes. <laughs> no, listen, hear me out. The, the point is that you, you should be earnest with each other. It's it's okay. <laughs> Uh, Meru, we. Uh, uh, so. Uh, uh. Okay, you two. Why don't we meet up and then decide how we feel? How does that sound? I promised you that I'd buy you some food as a. As Honestly, is just a, a sad reward for everything you've done. So uh, let's let's go let's go meet up. We'll we'll have some food. We'll talk it over. S sensei, the sensei. Uh, do you think meeting face to face will magically fix our difference of opinion? Well, not magically, but maybe if we have a little build up or something. Y yes. I know, uh, nitpicking isn't going to solve our problem. Uh. <laughs> um, Momiji? 
huh? Sh shall we, um, shall we meet up to talk? God, they are just a bickering couple. <laughs> it's wonderful, though. I'm, I'm so proud of you, Meru. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go meet up. Oh, God. Um, maybe. I, I guess so. Yes, um, okay. <laughs> I swear to God. You know, we're, we're finally getting there. <laughs> the final horse, or I guess the final bear, um, crosses the finish line at last. <laughs> we're finally going to meet up so they can talk to each other. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, y'all. Before we hop into this, we're at chapter 8. I think this is a good time. It's been two hours. It's time for a hydration check. Everyone, make sure you've got some water, tea, um, caffeine, whatever you are currently drinking. Make sure to go drink some stuff, and then we'll hop right into this in one moment. God, the music for this is so good. Shoot, this entire event could have been over <laughs> with just an apology at the start. I guess we've been able to learn more about this, though. We also um, got to, to meet Takane and some other folks, so... <sighs> Meru did overcomplicate this, though. <laughs> she massively overcomplicated this, but, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, y'all, let's hop into this. Let's hop into the next part of this. After a few twists and turns, we met up with Momiji. <laughs> no, I, I can't do it. I'm not going. I'll do it another time. Oh my god, Meru! Don't make me physically drag you. <laughs> Come on now, you have to keep your word. I know that you're embarrassed, but come on, we gotta do this. Come on! No! You misled me, Sensei! I... I need to do more emotional prep. I need to hype myself up for this. Uh, otherwise... Okay, there, there. Be a good, kind girl, Meru. I know you're exhausted. I'm not trying to condescend to you, but this would really help. Trust me, you should go and talk with her. It's a good idea. I told you, uh, I'm not a good girl. I'm not going. <sighs> Meru, you're being rude. Come with me. I will not ask again. <laughs> hey, hey, let me go. Where are you taking me? Ah, Sensei, Sensei's kidnapping students. Oh my God, Meru, Meru, shush. <laughs> oh my God, shush. <laughs> God, the sound effect of grabbing and just dragging her is fantastic. <laughs> God. <sighs> okay, you two. No one has said a word for a full five minutes. I need you to speak to each other. I'm here as your mediator. <sighs> Excuse me. I... I'm sorry, Moby G. <laughs> I... I was too harsh before. I... I thought Luna was funny. 
N no! I I'm the one who should be apologizing. I know better than anyone how hard you work. I I'm sorry. I, I was too hard on you. Y you know, I could order you some more fried pancakes. I'm sorry about duplicating book orders you already put in. I, I just thought as a librarian, it was my responsibility. <sighs> <sighs> Mommy G, I have to say something. It's fine if you don't agree with what I'm about to say, and if you think I'm just talking crazy, that's okay too. In fact, it might be easier for me if you think that. Um, okay. When I visited the Luna fanfic convention, I met a ton of Luna fans. Everyone wanted to add their own flair to their work. They were all doing a bunch of creative things. Some people might think what I'm doing is stupid or ask why I even bother. What's the point of making your own version of an unfinished work? But others' opinions don't matter. What matters is that we love it. Somewhere along the way, I forgot that. I had no idea. So many Luna fans are still actively engaged in the fanfic movement. It was like meeting a thousand Momijis. That came out weird. <laughs> it sounds like I only think art is worthy of attention if it has fans. Every story is worthy of attention. How could I have forgotten that? M me uh, um, a manga artist. Momiji, again, I, I apologize. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow, Meru, you're, you're giving me goosebumps. This is so unlike you. Yeah, after everything I said from the bottom of my heart, that's how you respond. <laughs> Oh my god! God, that was so nice from Meru! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was honestly a really beautiful thing to say, too, that every... <sighs> that, like, she's reevaluating why she loves to write and to draw things, and, like, how wonderful it is to create things and to have, like, a group of people who are excited about something! Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Oh, God. The pair continued apologizing to each other for a while. <sighs> oh, this is wonderful. Well, now that we've all made up, what are you going to do about Luna? Well, yeah. Luna Volume 22 may not need to be finished. M Mario. Right. But I'm going to draw it anyway, right through to the very end. Oh my god, Miru! I thought you saw a reason. <laughs> I thought she saw a reason. It does mean a lot to both of you, though, so... Okay. We need to come up with a plan for this, though, because you are killing yourself doing this. This is... <laughs> We need to come up with some sort of, uh, some sort of plan here. M Meru? At the end of the day, creative work should be its own reward, right? Uh, desire driven? Y yes, desire drives creation, doesn't it? Oh! Exactly, and right now, that's just what I want to do create. I want to write a Luna volume 22 that I can be proud of. And I want to present it to my best friend. So will you help me, Momiji? Well, it's a little unusual to ask someone to help you make their own gift. <laughs> but for you, I'd be honored. 
Pachi, 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 let's go. Now this is what I'm talking about. We we got we got an assistant, someone who can actually help us. Perfect. This is perfect. Okay. Okay. All right, you two. I will do everything in my power to help as well. Let's do this. Okay. Then let's get back to work. <sighs> okay. All right. We got two days. All right. Maybe we can do this. <laughs> At that moment, the clouds parted and the sun shined bright. It was like the universe telling us we had taken our first step on the right path. I prayed their relationship would grow stronger in the future. Oh, what the heck are you doing with this? What's this going to do to Luna? It's a twist. Don't worry, I put a lot of thought into it. We needed a climax so the story can have a gripping conclusion. You do realize you only have a few pages left to get to that conclusion, right? Meru, you're making the same pacing mistakes all over again. Yeah, fine. I'll just have to write more pages. Fans always love more content anyway. But what about the time? Unless someone falls out of the sky and helps you, there's no way you have enough time for that. You just have to do what you can with the time and resources you have left. Oh. <laughs> Very reasonable, but um, why are we fighting again? <laughs> oh, sorry, Sensei. It's okay. It's all part of the job here at the Knowledge Liberation Front. Don't worry about it. We're just, um, exchanging ideas to come up with the best solution. Okay, if you say so. I'm not sure I believe that, but okay. <laughs> Whether you believe us or not doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're finding humor in all of this. But back to the topic of back to the topic at hand. I can't give up. I'm prepared to do anything if it means finishing the story the way I know it needs to be. But that would put us at twice the length, which would mean we're only a third of the way done. I need a clone or a miracle. We don't have either. Well, well, are you two absolutely sure that you can work together? Because <laughs> I'm getting a little concerned, oh god. <sighs> it's been so long since I've been in the library. <laughs> oh god, Mommy G's been gone for like three days. <laughs> oh god. I suppose it has, hasn't it? This is still the place I feel most at home. <laughs> I'm practically melting into this chair. Yeah, what are you doing, Momiji? We don't have time to melt. From now on, we have to be laser focused on the manuscript. Oh, uh, let me indulge in just a little sentimentality, won't you? Uh, sheesh, you're as short tempered as ever. God, they have really big, like, <laughs> grandparent energy. Like, <laughs> Momiji's like, oh, you, let me enjoy my time in my chair. <laughs> I just want to relax for a little bit and enjoy myself. Oh. One day to go. Let's go! It's the background for the event! Oh god. This is so good. I love this so much. I also love how Momiji is holding the mountain of reference material. <laughs> this is delightful. Do you want me to put the material here? Yeah, stack it up there. <laughs> I've finished reviewing the entire plot of Luna. You seem really agitated, Meru. 
Well, this is a story with an incredibly rich history and dedicated fan base. There's a lot that could go wrong. Yeah, about that. I don't want to seem shallow, but I'd hate to get lukewarm reviews like her inexperience showed, but she did her best. Meru, I, I love that you're motivated, but please be mindful of your deadlines. What was that? I thought I heard whispering on a cold breeze. Don't ignore me. If your manuscript is late, I'm the one who pays for it when it's time to print. I'll have to beg to get bumped to the front of the line. Momiji, I've never once missed a deadline that I didn't intend to. <laughs> A wizard is never late. The wizard arrives precisely at on time when they intend to. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, God. So, you're giving me gray hairs on purpose. Mommy G, I'm in the zone. Something bigger than me is involved now. <laughs> it's like I'm channeling some ancient power. I'm the one holding the pen, but I'm not the one drawing. All I can do now is let it happen. Oh no, that's not going to work. I refuse to let you blame your tardiness on the universe. <laughs> Another deadline is quickly approaching. It's D-Day, everyone. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, okay, y'all. Today's the day. It's... You... You did it. You actually finished. Is this real? Or or is it some weird dream that's going to give me false hope? Oh, it's real. If it were a dream, I wouldn't be dying of exhaustion right now. Well, I don't slow down yet. It's not over until it's over, and it's not over until we print this. <sighs> I guess I'll have to go to the publishing department, but I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling or not, we have to print. I don't care if Kivotos crumbles into oblivion tomorrow. Nothing is going to keep me from printing this. Come on, Sensei. How much time do we have left? Um, about three hours. <laughs> Uh, girls, it's time to run as fast as you can and prepare to grovel to print this. <laughs> yes. Okay. feel like I'm going to have to bust out the adult card. We're going to have to... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. We are running as fast as we can. <laughs> Okay, okay. <sighs> Why is Red Winter so big? If you have breath to talk, then you're not moving fast enough. Uh, what's that in front of? <sighs> what? Oh no. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Greetings, Knowledge Liberation Front. We are here on behalf of the Red Winter Secretariat's office. What? What are you? I'd like to offer the Knowledge Liberation Front my congratulations on their accomplishments. Rejoice! I. I don't know what you're going on about, but please wrap it up quickly. We're busy. 
I'll give you the short version. The Secretariat office received a tip that Shale's legendary sensei is working with the Knowledge Liberation Front to create fan fiction. Huh? Who told you that? Adamaki Yakumo. Her. Yes, in response to the Secretariat Office. In response, the Secretariat Office conducted an investigation into this so-called fan fiction and the events surrounding it. And we've decided to award you with the President's Mustache Medal of Effort. The Knowledge Liberation Front should consider it a very great honor. Uh... Thanks, I guess, but I'd rather get my book printed than some dumb medal. But I'm getting ahead of myself. You see, I cannot bestow this medal upon you until you meet one condition. If the Knowledge Liberation Front is to be awarded the medal. In order to spread the word of the great President Cherino's cuteness and charm, we require that she appear in your fanfic as a guest character. Just think, Cherino's charm would make your fanfic shine like sunlight, warming the heart of every Red Winter student who reads it. Oh, wouldn't it to be a sight to behold? Oh, um... <laughs> it would be a sight to behold, all right. <laughs> but Tomoe, I, I think you misunderstand. You know, now that I think about it, we might as well give her a starring role. Do that, and we'll give you the President's Mustache Medal of Achievement, too. Uh, don't be ridiculous! We have less than three hours left! If you want to feature President Cherino, then the Secretariat Office should write its own manga. Or better yet, commission it from me for a small fee, which I'd refuse, of course. Well said, Meru. I'd expect nothing less. Well, uh, I'm proud of you, Meru, but I'm also scared that we're... <laughs> Tomoe is not going to like that very much. <laughs> <sighs> Now, we're extremely busy, so quit distracting us. We don't need your stinking metal. You seem to have forgotten something important, so I'll remind you. The Knowledge Liberation Front fights for knowledge, not medals. Knowledge is... Excuse me. Knowledge is power. We will protect it. <sighs> Listen, Tomoe... Marina, I'm sorry. There's no compromising this time. I can't help you. Huh. I see. Well, I knew this wouldn't be easy. That's why I have a backup plan. I will use the full might of the Secretariat's office to... persuade you. What? What are you trying to do? I've got that bad feeling again. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, that's about what I expected. The Secretariat's office is not above coercion. We will ensure President Cherino features in her own fanfic. <laughs> God! Tomoe just saying the quiet part out loud, just like... I will force you to do my bidding. <laughs> oh, God. Well, okay. <gasps> we actually have Momiji. <laughs> She's adorable. I get to use her Kuma explosion. Let's go. We're going to shoot a bear rocket into everyone. Let's go. Alrighty. Oh, God. Our cost recovery is still so low! <laughs> Why is our cost recovery so low? <laughs> oh, God.
god. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. No, Momiji! Momiji, don't go down! Go down! Okay, we're gonna hit them with this. Let's go, Momiji! Let's go, Momiji! Let's go, Momiji! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh god. Oh god, stop! Marina! <laughs> Marina, stop! Stop! No, Momiji! Okay, good. Okay. Okay, almost got him. Almost got them. Almost got them. Yeah! Let's go! Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh my god, I love her. I'm actually going to have her finally. <laughs> She's so adorable. I love her so much. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> she got down to like half health. That was freaking me out. Okay. okay. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get him. Get him. Maru, Momiji, get him. Get them all. Let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> Uh, did we? Did we win? We've defeated the Secretariat office, but I worry this will damage our relations. Uh, don't worry about it. The Secretariat office already considered the Knowledge Liberation Front to be a thorn in their side. <laughs> That's certainly true, but... Those who stand in our way will face their own destruction. <laughs> Sensei? All right, come on. We're running out of time. Hell yeah. That's the spirit. <gasps> oh my god. Stop! In the name of labor and revolution, I must say my piece. Uh, what is it now? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Um, it's a bunch of Labor Party members and President Minori herself? Thank goodness I found you here. I heard the Knowledge Liberation Front is making a massive effort to produce fan fiction about Luna. I wouldn't call it massive, exactly. Why is the Labor Party so interested in our fanfic? We respect the spirit of the Knowledge Liberation Front. Above all, we wish to revive the legacy of the past and apply it to the modern era. The more we learn about the history of labor, the more we are inspired to revolt and bring down the establishment. Holy based. <laughs> Minori. That is obscenely based. Oh my god. That is true. It is good to learn about history, learn about previous labor movements, and be like, wait a second. There used to be a lot of unions. Why aren't there more unions? <laughs> I'm going to change that. Beautiful. Excellent work, Minori. I'm proud of you. Fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> it's true. Mega based, but maybe. <laughs> we still have to run. Is that why they think... Is that what they think Luna was about? There's no way. In that spirit, we have a proposal for you. We propose that the Knowledge Liberation Front revise their current fanfic to highlight those revolutionary ideals. No oh god. <laughs> We don't have any time, though. We only have three hours. If you if you pay Meru later, I'm sure she'd be on board to write something. But like, we we can't revise the fanfic now. I'm totally on board, 100% on board. But now is just not the time. We can do this later, though. Revolution! Revolution! Furthermore, to enlighten the working class and liberate them from their oppressive overlords, we propose that the workers' struggle be the main theme. Liberty! Liberty! Oh, Minori, it's it's not a bad idea, but we don't have time! We don't have time! Oh, God, I'm 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed that y'all are gathering these ideas, but listen. <laughs> we don't have the time for this. Oh God. I wondered when you were going to speak up. I know, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm on board with what they're saying, but we just don't have time. I owe the labor party a debt of gratitude and I'm grateful that you visit our library, but we cannot acquiesce to your request. Yeah, we don't have the time. Please, Minori, see that what you're asking is, we just don't have the time for it. This is very disappointing to hear. We've learned so much from the literary works curated by the librarians of the Knowledge Liberation Front. I longed for a partnership in which we would teach a lesson to that abominable mustache who throws away yogurt lid. Who throws away lo- <laughs> My apologies. I'm so passionate about my speech I'm getting tongue-tied. We- I longed for a partnership in which we teach a lesson to that abominable mustache who throws away yogurt lids without licking them. Oh, snap! <laughs> They were the ones who were behind that. I knew the Labor Party was behind that flyer. And here's the thing. Very reasonable. That is abominable. That's that's absurd. I didn't want to resort to this, but you leave me no choice. Comrades, from this day on, we shall wage a relentless war against the Knowledge Liberation Front until we can bring their blurry vision back into focus. Yeah! Oh no! Why did it have to come to this? We could have been brethren. Minori! Minori, see reason. See that this is not the way to seek your goals. You must join with your fellow workers. You've learned so much and yet there's still so much for you to learn. You have to band together. You have to come together with your fellow workers. It's the workers against the oppressors. Oh, it's okay. I can I can set up a lesson for them. <laughs> They're definitely not very passionate about this. <laughs> Alrighty, let's let's hit them all. Oh wow, we can actually hit all of them. Good God, Momiji, Momiji, fantastic. All right, let's go. Fantastic. Oh, alrighty. I'm sorry, Minori. You can come visit my supplemental lessons later. We'll, we'll talk about a lot of um, worker theory and... <laughs> You'll learn something good from it, I'm sure. I'm sure. You yeah, know, that bear radius. <laughs> it is a very thick bear, that's true. <laughs> Mommy G is just shooting a, a, just a massive bear at uh, at her opponents. It's very impressive. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, I think maybe we'll actually be able to get this printed, but we got, we got barely any time left. This isn't good. Okay, okay. A special deal. It's time. It's time to try and get this printed, y'all. Ugh, I'm definitely going to be late now. At least we got them to back down. Good job, Sensei. Oh, the, the two of you did the heavy lifting. Uh, to quote Momiji, I do still have a bad feeling about this. We've run into so many problems. And we haven't even gone to go and print anything yet. Uh, don't be silly, Sensei. The worst is over. What are the odds that a third group would have cost us? Oh, Meru, Meru, you can't say that. That's that's setting a flag. That's no, you can't say that. Oh, God. Yeah. Besides, this is all just a coincidence. Both of those groups were acting alone with their own agenda. Oh, God. Oh, God. The true menaces appear. Oh, surely they wouldn't want to fight us, though. Right? Spec Ops, right? Hey, I heard the Knowledge Liberation Front was making some <laughs> valuable fan fiction. 
Yeah, Nodoka said she had a good idea for it, and I'm here to support her. Listen, how did all of you people find out about this? And how did none of you understand how this works? This is not... <laughs> You can't just, like, show up and then demand we make changes. That's not how this works. Could it be? I don't have uh, any idea what it's about, but I heard it's valuable, and that's all I care about. <laughs> I figure all we need to do is get our hands on it. Then we can sell it to President Cherino for a pretty penny, and... Finally, get a stove for Spec Ops number 227. <laughs> oh god. They're just gonna rob us. They're gonna try and steal the manuscript. Oh god! Oh god! They weren't here to pitch their ideas. They just... They're just gonna try and rob us. I... You know that we all know where you live, right? <laughs> this is a terrible idea! Uh, Shigure! Why would you get a stove? You're supposed to be earning your way out of suspension, not making yourself comfortable. Regardless, I intend to take advantage of President Cherino's greed. She's determined to have it all, as they say. So why fight the inevitable? She's going to get it eventually, whether you like it or not. Give it to us, and you'll be helping us get out of suspension and back to a normal life with proper heating, blankets that aren't full of bugs, and uh, a bear-free existence. You know, the two of you can ask me for help, right? Like, I have a lot of funds. The, the General Student Council gives me, like, quite a big stipend. I can, I can help you two. Ugh. But here they are trying to rob us instead. <laughs> uh. No way! Find somebody else's fanfic to steal. Well, it looks like we're fighting again. <laughs> it always comes back to violence, no matter what I try. <laughs> I try to be diplomatic. Oh, God. Well, okay. Oh, Shigure, you're so cute. Why are you trying to rob us? Come on now. Come on now. Oh, God. They're doing so much damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Momiji, Momiji, Momiji. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. 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 We're doing okay. Well, we're doing the best we can, I guess. <laughs> uh, well... Yeah, hopefully third time's the charm, right? We haven't even made it to the printing place yet. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh god, how much time did that take? How much time do we have left? So... After all that, the Knowledge Liberation Front still missed its deadline. I can't say I'm surprised. It would have taken a miracle for them to pull that off. It's too bad I can't help. But as a critic and club president, I must remain impartial. Perhaps our paths will cross in another, more meaningful way in the future. So long. God, no, this can't be it. Oh, wait! The Knowledge Liberation Front is here and ready to submit our entry. You... you finished your manuscript? That's right! Here! Take it! <laughs> Uh, well, you certainly know how to make an entrance. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! Woo, we did it! After all of that, after all of that, we finally did it. Oh my god. Consider your manuscript received. Though, I still 
still can't believe it. You didn't do anything illegal, did you? Who do you take us for? Yeah, no, for real. We we all worked really hard on it, seriously. The sensei, you look like you're going to collapse. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> I will fall down at any moment. It has been a hell of a four days. It's okay right now, though. I haven't dropped yet. <sighs> if you're sure. We definitely couldn't have done it without your help, Sensei. <laughs> ah, that's so sweet of you! I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying, man. Just getting here was a battle. First the Secretariat office, then the Labor Party. <sighs> Phew. I'm not sure what the Secretariat office and the Labor Party have to do with your entry. But I'm glad to see you two have made up. Oh, that was just a minor disagreement. Nothing really, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, Meru? Uh, sorry. We apologized to each other and made up. Then you have my congratulations regarding the content and quality of the manuscript. Hmm. I... Don't need to read it to know what to expect, judging by the state of you two. <laughs> you're putting on the old disingenuous act again, which means you're actually surprised that I pulled it off, aren't you? <laughs> and is that a hint of admiration? You're probably thinking, classic Meredy. She's so brilliant and awesome that my limited mind just can't understand her. Oh my god, Meru, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> you don't need to antagonize her. She was an asshole earlier, but you don't need to do this. Uh, who do you think you are? Shooting immediately begins. Ah, uh, and there's the Takane we all know and loathe. You're one to talk. You haven't changed one bit. You took the words right out of my mouth. After all you've been through, I thought you'd grown up a bit. I'm always growing up. In fact, I'm as grown up as it gets. <laughs> okay. Okay, you two. Now, now, we've finally finished the manuscript. We just need to stay civil long enough for Takane to review it. Meru, with all of the love and kindness in my heart, just shush. <laughs> just, just go hang out with Momiji, go get yourself some food, and just shh. Just let Takane look over this. that you two have reconciled. It seems the tables have turned. Anyway, procedure is procedure, and a critic must remain impartial. All right, Meruri, I'll review your manuscript now. Okay. Moment of truth. Whoa, whoa, time out. Huh? Who? Oh? Oh no. She's here. Wow, I knew you could do it, Meru. Y Yakumo? I is that the president? Oh god, of the publishing department. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, this isn't looking good. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I'm a little concerned. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, boss music starts playing for real. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay. Y Yakumo? I is that the president? This isn't good. <laughs> Her little claps 
Putty, 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 putty. <laughs> a classic tale of friendship, hard work, and grit. It's so touching that I wish I could write it down somewhere to preserve it for eternity. Something's up. Why is she saying such nice things? But first, let's talk about that all-important manuscript you promised me. M manuscript I, I mean, I know you asked me to do a manuscript, but why would she bring that up? I'm glad you remember. Now, on that subject, I've decided I'd rather have the Luna Volume 22 you wrote instead. I... Why? Wait. You have to let Takane read it first, though. And then maybe we could talk? I mean, like, we could just print another one, I guess. But, like... Okay... What? What? N not this! There's so many reasons I can't give this up, but the most important is that I promised it to Momiji. You know, that's actually a fair point! We did promise the original version of this, and it was a lot for us just to print this out. That's... What is the publishing president up to here? What's going on? Oh, but what about our contract? Th that's, I, I mean, you. Does it have to be Luna? Surely there's something more reasonable we can do. Yes, and I have a very good reason for that. But you can relax. I'm not asking you to transfer ownership forever. It's more like a loan. A favor. Granted, there's a decent chance it'll be a mid to long term loan. What do you want with a Luna fanfic? Are you... Are you going to try and pass this off as the real volume 22? so that you can make money off of it? Is that what's happening here? Y yeah wh what are you going to do with it? I hope you don't plan to mass publish it. I don't care how amazing the story is or whether it's a faithful representation of the ending that never existed. Y you can't do that. Oh. Mm hmm. Meru? What? Am I wrong? What are you talking about? I'm not a monster. I would never publish fanfic for an unfinished series and claim it was canon. Okay, that's what I thought that you were going to do. So I guess that's reassuring. Do I believe her though? <laughs> do I believe her? I don't believe her. I don't believe her. Well, <laughs> why do you want my manuscript then? It's simple. But before I explain, let's recap what all the fuss has been about. First, Meru had a fight with her friend, and she put herself through hell to make it up to her. Uh, but you created that hell for me, didn't you? <laughs> Then, as if that weren't enough, she enlisted the help of Shale's famous sensei. Never once did she hesitate to fight, reconcile, and earn the respect of her rivals. Uh, hey, that's your boss. Takane, do something about it. <laughs> I love that idea where she's like, Takane, do something. Your boss is your boss is being very questionable. <laughs> Uh, there's no point asking me. This is who she is. And at the end of it all, she gave everything to create a manuscript. It's a story of friendship, violence, hijinks, and serendipity. Isn't that a great story? That sounds about right. But what's your angle here? I don't understand. Don't you dare agree with her, Sensei. I, I'm, I'm sorry, that's true. 
<laughs> My apologies, Meru. I'm on your side. That is why I, Aramaki Yakumo, have come to a decision. Or rather, I'm enacting the backup plan I developed the moment Meru entered the publishing department. Meru's epic, heart-wrenching adventures should be sold. I mean, <laughs> shown to every student in Red Winter. No, Kivotos. The publishing department will use every arrow in its considerable quiver to turn this amazing saga into a live action movie. What? Eh? Uh, huh? What? What? It, do you have the funding for that? <laughs> the, the publishing department does that kind of thing? What? Of course we do. Collaborations between the publishing and movie industries are all the rage these days. Whether it's an ebook adapted into a movie or a movie adapted into an ebook, it happens all the time. It's an integral part of IP expansion, and it's good business. Huh. I should have known not to underestimate them once you got involved, Sensei. Even you're impressed? If you just let me borrow that manuscript, the possibilities are endless. We could even use it as promotional material. Don't worry, you can trust me to give it back to you. But uh, <laughs> we should discuss a uh, time frame. It could be a while. Uh, how much time are we talking here? If we manage to stick to our timetable, we could have the movie done in about a year, maybe two. Why would you think I could wait that long? Or that I would just hand it over? What makes you think... Ahem. <clears throat> You're not very trusting, are you? Do you... Uh, do not underestimate the power of the publishing department. We can do big things for you. You think I have trust issues? Well, if you really can't give us the full manuscript, then that's that. You're giving up? Just like that? That's not like you, unless... You're about to do something crazy, aren't you? I wouldn't call it crazy, but you should know that here in Red Winter, there are a lot of people who would be appalled at your cavalier attitude about contracts. Particularly those who run Red Winter. Secretariat office, over here. Oh my god. God, we, how many times we gotta teach you this lesson, Secretariat? <laughs> How many times we gotta we gotta beat you before you stay beaten? Come on now! Come on now! This horrible girl broke a promise to her friend. Then she beat up every member of our secretariat office and got away with it. Oh, I'm getting roped into this like I'm one of the students. This is awesome! <laughs> God damn it! God damn it. Uh, uh, sensei, why are you here? Did you get reported for breaking the school rules? <laughs> no, Marina, but like, can everyone, can we all just like, everyone take a collective breath. This is, this is quickly spinning out of control. I just want Takane to read this doujin. I want her to read our volume 22. Then I want Momiji to get this copy of this. We can print another one and maybe work out something. I don't know. We can figure this out, I'm sure. <sighs> but listen, Marina, no. <laughs> I did not get reported for breaking the school rules. How shameful you all are. Even you can't break Red Winter's rules and get away with it, Sensei. Marina! I seem to recall saying that I did not break the rules. We'll detain you in the self-reflection room. I'm no stranger to the room myself. Trust me, it'll be nice and cozy. Um, no, Marina. 
Are you really trying to pull an Akko right now? I don't think you have the the ability or jurisdiction to detain me. I don't I don't think that's how this works. You're the one who dragged the Secretariat office into this, Yakumo. You should be more careful. Contracts can be dangerous. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. All right, Marina. I don't want to have to teach this lesson again, but apparently that's what we're doing. It's just gun time. All right. It's just gun time. <sighs> All right. We're doing it. They're doing good. They're doing good. We're going to unleash Momiji. We're going to unleash this thick bear. <laughs> Do it, Momiji. Bam! Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. Dear God. There was so much damage. Go down. Get him. Get him. Come on. Come on. Good work. Pachi, 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 pachi. Excellent. Excellent. I guess it is always gun time in Kibotos. I'm trying to use... I'm trying to be diplomatic. I'm trying to... Oh. But alas, I'm sorry, Marina. Oh, oh my. You're so strong. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Marina. But remember, there are two sides to every story. Oh, God. <laughs> well, 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 Yakumo. Well, well, well. They managed to take down the Secretariat office? Even without Sensei's help, the power of friendship is <laughs> formidable. That's right, Yakumo. And don't you forget it. <laughs> the power to the power of friendship and old married couples who write Dojin together. <laughs> it's very powerful. Uh Madam President. Yakumo, I am nearly spent. This has been completely ridiculous. So, it seems we've lost. Pity, I really wanted that manuscript. I suppose I should make a clean retreat while I still can. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. I guess I'll get the next manuscript you write. You, you mean this isn't over? Not every fairy tale ends after a single battle. It's what happens after the hero defeats the villain that matters. And you, my little underdog, will have to fight more than one battle to get rid of me. You can look forward to a full-blown battle next time. <laughs> How do you say such terrifying things with a straight face? You made a promise, Meru. And you don't want to break another promise, do you? Ugh. <laughs> she has a point. This is still ridiculous that you tried to attack us and take this manuscript, though. God. <laughs> We're done here. The publishing department will take their leave for now. But when we return, it will be with an offer you can't refuse. Let's hope it's a fair contract next time. Well said, Momiji. Well said. Well said. <laughs> God, she was a great villain. That was... <laughs> oh, God. The power of capitalism is indeed terrifying. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that's over with. Or wasn't it your president who caused it? She may be my president, but she and I are two totally different people. Anyway, that's not the point right now, is it? It's finally time! Let's go! It's time for Takane's critique. Oh god, oh god. I, I hope you won't be bothered by any negative feedback, Sensei. Even if Sensei isn't bothered, I'm going to be a wreck. External validation holds more power than people realize. Okay, everyone. 
it's okay to hold hands if you want. We can maybe get some food, although I understand if you're too nervous to eat. Let's just wait and see. Everyone, let's steal ourselves. <laughs> Hang in there. Deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Oh god. <laughs> the tension. <laughs> Why are people terrified of me? As if I hold their life in my hand. It's so strange. Listen, Takane, if you ever like make things, make art in any capacity and you put it out in the world, it is terrifying. <laughs> it is terrifying. Other people are going to see it. Oh my God, it's terrifying. <sighs> anyway, time to read. I need a minute to focus. Okay. Oh God. Everybody, it's okay. Deep breaths. Okay. Time for some honest feedback. Oh. I worked so hard, but I'm so worried it won't pay off. Even children would know this is a long shot. If this all falls apart, remember us. Remember that there was a book and people who read it and loved it. Of course, Momi G, I will never forget. Oh my God. Are you saying last words? <laughs> You're wasting time, you know, and my time is quite valuable. You know what they say, everyone worries about the future, but few people really, truly think about it. And it is the same for the past. We view the present through the lens of history, but few will examine the past with any sense of clarity. We forget what we dislike, we glorify what we love, and we push the pain to the back of our minds. Perhaps we value the present too much. It cannot exist without its siblings. The ever-expanding past lies behind us, the infinite future before us. The present is the thin line between the two. You know, it's an interesting, it's an interesting argument. I tend to be of the belief that valuing the present is pretty important, but it is always good to like, I don't know, make sure that you're planning for the future and like reflecting on the past too. <laughs> that being said, I don't know that people necessarily push pain to the back of their minds. I think the fact that we all cringe at things from when we were young is... <laughs> That's always going to be a rough thing, but it's okay. It means you've come far. It's it's nice. It's an important thing to reflect on how far you've come and how far you want to still go. So I think that's very true. That's a very interesting point, Takane. That's why stories about the present cannot escape the past or the future. The passage of time is inevitable. Many would like to forget that and live solely in the live solely in the present but we can never escape it. This story is about Luna's past, present, and future. This story itself is unremarkable in many ways, but the writer's dedication certainly stands out. In fact, that is the most striking quality. Its depth, is emotion. its depth of emotion is a rarity these days. It's a modern classic. Furthermore... Furthermore... <laughs> furthermore... What? What? What is it? <laughs> Sometimes honesty is exactly what we need to be free. You can say what you're thinking, Takane. It looks like you really enjoyed it. <laughs> if, um, that's what you have to say, Sensei, then I... Ahem. It was a good story. It made me wonder what could have been, given enough time. Good work, Knowledge Liberation Front. That's 
wonderful. I'm so glad she was able to be honest that she liked it. That's wonderful. Ah, that was fantastic. I don't know, that was extremely kind critique as well, being like you took into account the past of the series, trying to make this authentic to it while making this your own and having your own vision for the future of the series. I think that's beautiful. That's fantastic. That's extremely high praise. <laughs> That is so strange to hear. Are you sure you meant to say that? Y yeah, you're giving Meru way too much credit. <laughs> Momiji, it's okay to take a compliment. <laughs> Do you know what it took for me to say that? How dare you respond so rudely? Hey, it, it sounded weird to me too, okay? Give me a break. Fine. And now that you're officially a part of the club, I'll send you the time and location for the next con. Check your mail later. Can't wait. And next time we'll be more than prepared. Yeah, we'll have plenty of time next year. I'm not holding my breath, but good luck anyway. Knowledge Liberation Front. Yay! Okay. Shall we head back? Absolutely. I'm going to sleep like a rock tonight. I'm going to sleep for the next two days. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, ahem. Anyway. Meru, I can't believe you wrote the last volume of Luna for me. All I can say is... I'm really impressed. <laughs> right? It all turned out just fine, didn't it? As long as we get the ending right, everything is A-OK. -okay. And we got an amazing ending. I should have known you'd deprive me of the opportunity to say something sentimental at the end. <laughs> Not to one thing went smoothly. What's worse, you dragged Sensei into it and forced them to work on the manuscript for four days straight. Ah, I, I just wanted to show Sensei what life as a cartoonist on deadline is like. Oh, please. You just wanted to be the center of attention. You made them do it. N no, they, they volunteered. Even so, you crossed a line. You absolutely embarrassed Sensei. Uh, hey, it was no picnic for me either. Yeah, but you brought it on yourself. You, you made my life hard too. Oh God. You, you two, I know we're all tired. I know we're running on very, very little energy, but you two, you know, I'm, I'm fine. Really, I pull pretty bad hours regularly, so <laughs> it's okay. You may be fine, but I'm not. Stop right there, Meru, and listen to what I'm about to say to you. Ooh, ah! Underclassmen can't bully their seniors. No speeches, no scolding. Meru? You know, it's probably good to scold her about working for four days straight. That was pretty rough. The Knowledge Liberation Front descended into another shouting match, but this time I wasn't so worried about it. Uh, well. <laughs> it looks like it's just another peaceful day after all. finale for two. Ah! This was so good! Oh my god! Oh my god, I loved this. This story was fantastic. <laughs> this was wonderful! Oh god, it's true. Now I have to go back to paperwork. Oh god. 
Maybe, maybe I can get an extension from Rin. Maybe she'll look favorably upon me. I'll be like, hey, I solved conflict at Red Winter. That merits an extension, right? On those expense reports. <laughs> oh God. Oh my word. Y'all are a um, bunch of very kind folks. Thank you so much for all of the gifted memberships. I think the plan is we're gonna go really quick. We'll uh, make some polls because I'm getting Momiji. I'm getting Momiji. And we're gonna try and get Meru too. Um, and then from there, I'm gonna read through all of the very kind super chats y'all sent. So thank you. But yes, we're gonna make some polls. It's time. We're making some polls. Let's do it, y'all. We're gonna get the knowledge liberation front. We gotta have the married couple together. Like it's, it's, I gotta have both of them. <laughs> oh God. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make some polls. Oh my God, I have three tickets. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see if I actually have some luck. I've been very lucky in Star Rail recently. Less lucky in, uh, <laughs> Very recent Blue Archive stuff, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay, let's do it, y'all. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, some of you got them on your first pull. Well, okay, we're gonna do Dojin. Meh. Oh, jeez, I, I can do a better Dojin. I can do a better spelling of that. <laughs> some of the letters were kind of melting together. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We don't have Meru yet, but we're okay. We got Momiji. <laughs> the most important one! Okay, time to go get the other half of the married couple. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, fantastic. Okay, all righty. Actually, maybe we should do Luna. I like Luna. Luna seems nice. It's 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 the story that they they bonded over and came together with. I think that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, fantastic. Maybe I can get some more copies of Momiji too. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Luna, Luna, let's go. Woo! Fantastic. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Other half of the married couple. Let's go. I'm ready. <gasps> It's okay if it's someone else, but th th it would be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, hi, Miyako! Oh, Miyako. Bless you. I've been getting so many copies of her after not having her for so long. That's beautiful. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna keep making rolls. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. We got Luna. Luna's good. Let's go. Next. Next! Bum, 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 bum. Oh, my boy, you're so adorable! Oh, my word. Okay. God, it's really funny. Um, I need to put together um all of the uh, swimsuit Hanako pulls that I did. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Luna. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Um, but yeah, I'm, I need to put together like a short video of that, just like I did with the Mika polls. <laughs> and you'll all be able to see how I did compared to how Bear did, because good god. Good god, that man is too lucky. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. We're stopping there. I'm saving the rest of my polls. 
I'm saving the rest of them. I still have enough to guarantee characters too. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like my luck has turned around. <laughs> of their adorable um, married couple energy was was too real. Like old fuck, you know, like old, old, uh, <laughs> old married couple just bickering with each other. Oh God, that's too funny. That's too funny. Yeah, no, it does seem like it was clearly rigged. I got him in 50 pulls. I actually only used 20 of my actual pulls. I got that with three of my tickets. That's fantastic. <laughs> Hacks. I don't know what's happening. This is great, though. This is fantastic. Oh, no! You're right. I'm not beating the unrelatable streamer allegations. Oh, no. I thought that I had come back to the Noah polls again, but it wasn't true. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Well, yeah, no, Nodoka did help. She definitely did help. I absolutely love this recollection lobby. It's super cute. I thought this was very fitting for Red Winter, so... Oh, God. I swear to God. Yeah, I guess Bear's luck did rub off on me. That's good. That's good. I would like more luck. That would be fantastic. But yes, it is time for the Super Chats. Y'all sent a whole bunch of them. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, thank you all for the gifted memberships too. I, I always just want to make sure that y'all are like taking care of yourselves first. Like I really appreciate it. And I, I want you folks to feel like you're in a good space. You don't have to feel obligated to do anything. I just appreciate it a lot. So yeah. Um, let me go pull up all of the super chats that y'all sent. Oh my God. do this you get to hang out with nordica in the background here oh god oh over the rambo thank you oh my god thank you for the super chat congrats on the eleven thousand subs yumi i can't believe it i can't believe that we're at eleven thousand. i just did kivotos quarterly as a celebration for ten thousand, and we're at eleven thousand already that's kind of wild i don't know man <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's It's been really fun with y'all. So I don't know. It's cheers to a lot more fun in the fun months to come. Let's go. Oh my God. Chimmy. Chimmy. You mad lad. You sent so many gifted memberships and you sent a super chat on top of that. Good God. Good God. You crazy people. Congratulations and thank you for the consideration, but please take care of yourself. Oh, I appreciate that. That's the thing. I I definitely like, I don't know, for you folks that are in the UTC time zone, like, I don't know. I think it's important to like make sure that you folks can actually tune into these as best as possible because it's like very early in the morning there right now. <laughs> I'm glad I saw some of you like dipping out to go and get rest and that's good. Like if you're watching this as a VOD later, I'm glad that you got some rest. Although I do definitely empathize if you have trouble sleeping and you stay up, so. But yeah, no, thank you all. I also hope that I feel a little better. Um, <laughs> I swear, I swear. It's always the winter too. I feel like it's when like everyone gathers indoors. So if I ever go anywhere, like the biggest thing was that Bear and I actually went out to a restaurant, which was definitely 100% what did it. Then it makes me sad because now I'm like, I guess, I guess we're waiting. <laughs> we shouldn't go to a restaurant again for a while because that was clearly what, what did us in. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good that I'm finally feeling a little bit better, but everyone take care of yourselves. It's... <sighs> It's a rough time to get sick too when it's when it's the winter time. I guess for some of you it's the summertime. If you're in Australia, it's still no fun to get sick though. It's no fun at all. Oh god. Okay. Uh next. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Cookies, for the super chat. Every single time Cookies sends a super chat, it's always for like a non-trivial amount of money and there's no message. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. You're very kind. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you folks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Some of you sent a bunch. Dang. Dang, dang. Okay. 
Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, next, let's go... Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Seer, from the... <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Average press tactics. Yes, no, it did seem like the press was, a. Uh... <laughs> Causing some some issues. That was <laughs> that was no good. I don't know. I feel like um, she was a very good villain, though. Like it was very big capitalist energy, which was kind of kind of intimidating. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, thankfully it, everything worked out in the end. Uh, but yeah, that was a uh, playing both sides and then her um, sticking the secretariat on us was kind of intimidating. But thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for another super chat. Damn. Okay, Kaiser Chan. <laughs> for real though, it did feel like she was channeling a lot of that villain energy. That was, uh, that was pretty rough. <laughs> And thank you, Samuel Wong, for the super chat. Fair and unbiased media. Kronos, eat your heart out. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I love how it's like framed as like, well, of course, this will make us the most money. We're playing both sides of the aisle. And you're like, oh, God. I am kind of amazed that the Secretariat hasn't caught on to that. It's kind of incredible that they're actually, um, you know, they continue to be a business, so that's kind of wild. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Oh my word. Oh my god, y'all sent so many. Thank you. Oh, Seer, thank you again for the super chat. I mean, is fighting the state legal? <laughs> that's the thing. In Red Winter, uh, they have so many coups that it kind of feels like... <laughs> it kind of feels like they'll have problems. <laughs> But yes, no, no, we we thankfully were able to make it out of that okay, even though we were fighting the uh, literal government <laughs> of Red Winter. Oh God. And thank you, oh, Gabriel, thank you for the super chat. Yakumo is like Disney basically, or Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, when you kind of, um, I don't know, the proposal that she made did have, I saw some of you comparing that to like Netflix and things like that, um, which I think is like, it does have that energy, right? Where she's like, I'm gonna buy the rights to your script and then I'm gonna make a ton of money off of it. And you're like, well, and here's the thing. I, I am definitely someone that likes certain adaptations. Like obviously I like anime a lot. It's very good. But um, at the same time, I do feel like sometimes <laughs> there are adaptations made that don't need to exist. So, <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for coming by. If you have to take off, no worries whatsoever. Um, I've almost gotten through the super chats here. So let's see. Thank you, QB. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for another stream, Yumi. Really enjoyed the event. I always had a soft spot for how BA writes their banter. I completely agree. Was this not fantastic? I loved this. It was really nice to not only get a look inside of some clubs of Red Winter that we haven't seen before, but Momiji and Meru together were just fantastic. That was wonderful. That was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, but thank you. Thank you for the super chat. And Aki Jojo, thank you for the super chat. I got a dip early. Good luck on the polls. Well, that that did it. Uh, I don't know. Your good luck ended up getting us through it. I got <laughs> I got both of them in uh in 50 polls. So you know, that was extremely good. Oh my god, y'all are still sending super chats. <laughs> Give me a second, let me reload this real quick. Okay. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you for the gifted memberships too. You crazy, crazy people. Spend responsibly. <laughs> this stream will never end. <laughs> it's true. Oh my God. Thank you all so much though. Oh, Summer Haruka. Thank you. Glad I was able to watch the last part of this. I'm really glad too, y'all. I hope that you enjoy watching through this and I don't know, just having a fun time as you're going through. This was really fun. I loved this. <laughs> Thank you all. And I think, oh my God, I, I just missed some other super chats. Hold on. <laughs> Uematsu, you got my back. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Mod Matsu. <laughs> Um, uh, I should remember because I never do. Bless the snack mods. Um, I have a Discord. Um, <laughs> you're welcome to go check that out if you want to hang out with some swell people. Um, I've also got a Twitter. Um, I'm mediocre at it, but <laughs> I'm trying my best. I am, I'm, I'm doing what I can. I, I technically have a Pixiv too. I haven't been super active there because I've been so busy this last year, but you can look through my old fan art, um, of things that I've drawn <laughs> if you're interested in that. I think all the links for that should be in the, the description for the channel. So let's go. Yeah, no, Mod Matsu is the goat. <laughs> Y'all are... Snack mods, they have my back just all the time. I'm so infinitely grateful for you wonderful people. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm so sorry, Gabriel. You were correct. It's not It's uh, not fan art, it's fan fart. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> my apologies, I misspoke. <laughs> oh my word. I'm glad that y'all have had so much fun though. It's really fun to hang out with you folks. This is really good. Oh my word. Oh, uh, yes, Seer, you are absolutely correct. Minori shall be the end of MAPPA, but still, timing. Yeah, if you uh, all are interested in my literal hour-long rant about MAPPA, um, you can go and check out my seasonal anime stream from this last season. Boy, howdy, I sure got heated about that. So, um, anyway. And have fun with that. If you want to listen to me rant about things and talk about anime that I like. Oh my word. Thank you all so much. This, you all sent so many super chats. This was so kind of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just me drop fan what now? This is, this is um, the, the curse of my, my misspeaking becoming an immediate hilarious meme. So, um, during my Minecraft stream, I, I I said art, and I think I combined it with the art, and it became fart, and it just it just kind of stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! But yeah, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. This was absolutely wonderful. But yeah, everyone, please go get some rest. Um, take care of yourselves as best as possible. This was a really fun event to hang out with you folks. So take care of yourselves, be well, and I will see you all very, very soon. Um, keep an eye out. I've got, uh, okay, so it's Friday today. I normally get schedules out on Monday. Um, so you should be able to see like kind of what's coming up next week. Um, I've got a bunch of really fun stuff that I've got planned for you all. So yeah, this is gonna be really, really good. Look forward to it. Okay, everyone have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all very, very soon. Be kind to each other. Keep your um, fan art and your manga even closer. <laughs> and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!